God sleep on your pillow. May he hold you in the hollow of his hand. May the roads ride with you, fair weather to your heels. May the wind be ever at your back. And may you be a long time in heaven before the devil knows your God. <laughs> There is a world as tangible as our own, impossible to see yet unavoidable to sense. A world enveloped by a seemingly unending ocean of forests. Buried deep in that forest, tucked away neatly within a blanket of twilight, lies a quaint little cabin. And in that cabin is a bunch of guys who's a bunch of bullshitter. Welcome, boys and girls, to the latest Sleepy Cast. Hey! Ah! Hey. Here we've got we've got your host Stamper TV. Hey! There it is. <laughs> uh Corey Spaz Kid. Uh, hey! And Niall. Uh, hey, I'm Niall. Now, do you have a do you have another name? Hey. Is it is it like Cryburger? Yeah, I gotta change that though. Hey. Just, I, I don't want I, I don't want to promote any Cryburger shit because that is Terrible. It always makes How'd you me choose hungry. that name. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't have a terrible. How'd you choose I, it? It's the same way. You, well, you kind of choose your old ones. Because mm. when I was younger, uh, I just made like a troll. Oh, was that like account. a French troll? Like a account. hey, have a cry burger and some French. No, there was no, there was French no wines. There was no yeah. like, there was no like. Um, my like, bitching and moaning. I, I just, it's just something that popped into my head in like a second. I didn't even think about it. I just my wrote trolling, it down because it was I don't trolling. think it's the word. I, I don't think it's a bad. My, I don't. I don't my trolling name. I cringe. Do you know what my trolling name was? It was Chain Reaction. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty gay. No, Wait, you guys I, may I, have not known this, but Mick is half Chinese, half Irish, right? Yeah. Rice? Yeah. Pirate? Yeah. See? Right, so Mick. rice, Chinese, pirate, what? steal software. Mick! Yeah. Well, no, Mick. not a why, Somalian why, hold on, pirate. Why did you say Irish, Mick. though? What did have to I don't know, pirates? but the pirate accent is uh, oh, kind of the yeah. same as the I Irish. I suppose, yeah. I don't know. What was, well, your, was that unintentional? What, what was your no. trolling account name? That's My true. trolling account? Yeah. I never made a troll account. You fucking uh, are trolling you know what? a thing? Yeah, I made one when I was young. Like, this was about 10 years ago. This is yeah, you this sign is, up this for is... an extra account to fuck with you, people? Yeah, yeah, I was 14 you when have, I made one. Be a man, if you Nobody, don't fuck with people, you should be a I was 14. Never scared, anyone, scared born the after, anyone born in 1990 or later. It's a 2000 thing, you wouldn't yeah, get it. Yeah, exactly. If you were born in the 80s, you don't even know what the fucking shit. And you yeah. wouldn't do it, because guess what? When you have a problem with someone, you fucking walk right up to them, you look them dead in the eye, and you fucking say your problem. You don't create some alternate Account using some fake ass information so you can sit behind Nick. your little shield and throw potatoes at people. Here's Nick, my like, Nile account on the side. You're a faggot. And then it goes back <laughs> I and got I, you. And then what? I pay my, my power bill. <laughs> yeah, and then you go home and you think about how awesome you burn somebody with a name they never even heard That's of. That's quite accurate, about. except my mom paid my power bill for me. That, uh, that While people are slamming too, on your fucking like, door to steal faggot. your couch and. Fucking repo you your shit. No. Because you're a horrible person. Corey okay. has a French background. And you know, some French people are actually quite religious. Did you know that, Snapper? I did, but I thought the Irish. I thought the world were was religious. The world is, uh, you know, the Irish? For the you know what? What is the percentage of people that are religious? Because I grew up thinking that a lot was, more people were atheists than. I always felt like there was. I would say like most people are religious. Everybody is That's born. Weird to me. Everyone's born into religion, and then you kind of like make your choices as you grow up, deciding if you want to stick with it or move on. Or you, except you if you're from the Middle East, or where if you try to decide to move on, you get your head. Yeah, well, let's not talk well, about that. that. <laughs> Irish people are primarily Catholic, right? Uh, well, Catholic. yeah, yeah. Well, they all pretend they're Catholic, but no one's really religious. They all just say, they say they are because they like go to mass and they all meet each other. At go mass. into that. Hold on. You said they pretend they are. So explain that more. Uh, they don't really believe in God. Like you don't have the Bible beaters like you have here. You have the guys who just kind of go to church on Sundays thumpers. just so the rest of the neighborhood thumpers. will see them at church and be like, okay, Bible Is thumpers. That, Bible thumpers. Is that what it's called? Yeah, not Bible beaters. We don't beat Bibles. No, they're not like though I like that better because of the alliteration. <laughs> yeah, Bible beater. The, the alliteration kind of came out of Bible me. beater. Yeah. I think I said. I mean, realistically, I, I, I think, think we should get rid of thumper and and change it. Actually, yeah, that's a good now because it's like you beat off to the Bible. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's Bible multiple meanings. It's, 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 it's you can't say that. It's like a cake. It's Bible beating. Okay, movies. first of all, if you were beating off to the Bible, God would welcome that. Everything else is off limits. He's like, hey, you're beating off to the passage I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> Two thumbs up. <laughs> but in that same passage, says, God didn't write the Bible. <laughs> he, he, he screamed over a crowd of people. He's like, hey, write that shit in it. In that, in that okay, same, put this down now. <laughs> in that same book, it says, thou shall not spill your, thy seed upon thine ground. It also says, thou shall not. It doesn't say thine Bible, though. It also says, in the Bible. That's a good point. Thou shall, shall feed 
the babies to the crocodiles to ame- appease the garden of youth. What? Mm? Did what? Say that? Mm? In what? Is this something your your that's mom the first told Bible. you? That's the first Are Bible. These are little Bible stories that's your mom tells you at Bible. night. The first Bible. There is like sixteen renditions of the Bible. Yeah, and the one that you're how talking you about be- has the fucking crocodiles a, and the pitfall man. How can you believe in a faith that has been altered throughout time? Yeah. In the Bible, there was a passage where it said changes. Forty kids yep. made fun of a bald man. A bald man, guys, making snapper, mm-hmm. and the God came down. Up from the heavens, and he said he he was pretty kind of ticked off at that. So he sent a big. He was a little riled up. Riled up. And he sent a, <laughs> he sent a big bear out to, and he slaughtered all the four. No, you're a fucking liar. There was. That's a passage in the Bible. I swear on the Holy Bible. A big bear or a big bear? No, big gay bear. Big gay. Bear. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. They sent an a, actual. He rode on his Harley, got off, and just slaughtered all the kids. Now, was the bear successful? That's uh, the question. Yeah, no, he, he, all 40 of those kids got fucked. You know what I find fascinating? I love fiction, it's great. Do you know what I find fascinating with the whole Bible thing and people who like follow it? It's like the Bible is true. It's fact. It was written by the higher ups. It's I like, don't think you'll ever meet somebody that says that the Bible is true and no, it's fact. No, that's not true. Uh, that's, that's, that's not true. true. There, are people, of, there, there are some people. My mom the extremes. has actually converted and she's like, I believe everything in the Bible is true. And I'm like, I've never met anybody in my life that took the Bible as word. If, Dude, if anything, they push it to the back of their head and they believe in God. Something. Yeah, but the Bible. No, the Bible. I feel like most people are like. No, no. no yeah. I think most people do. They 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 take it with a grain. However, of salt. However, grain of salt. It, most exactly. people see it as a handbook on how to be a good person, but other people basically, I, yeah, yeah. But other people look at it as being like the truth. It's like. Adam and Eve really did talk to a spooky snake who ate the golden apple and brought. You ever read those stories? <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Golden apple, and the spooky snake. It's the same fucking thing. It's the same story. Okay, so the new pope um, actually came out and said that um, the Bible is not supposed to be taken literally. Mm-hmm. Uh, Refresh my, it's my not memory. Supposed to. The, the new pope. Pope. How many popes have we had? Pope number four. Pope Paul. Pope. I think we have as many oh, popes pope. as we have like Super Bowls. Pope. So it's like Pope forty or fifty pope. right now. Pope. Yeah. Super yeah. popes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, super, super, super. Joe, you tuning into the Super Pope? Yeah. <laughs> super Pope podcast with the Pope in the Vatican City. Yeah, yeah, Let's straight up their names, yeah. too. It's like, I'm Pope Double X. Yeah. You know? uh, That's Pope 20. Double X V I. Yeah. No, so, right. yeah, so this new they Pope. They have Pope Center in the, the like, new Pope fucking got 20s or 30s. Though. What's the. No, they have no. to be old men. Yeah, you have to be like old no, uh, on your yeah. way out. Dude, that the can't new be pope. a prerequisite. You have to meet, What's the actual. No, you have to meet a certain quota of kids. You have to be born with that. That's kind of physically impossible. Is it like Shaolin where you have to learn for a long time and the only way you could be a pope is if you're naturally like a million fucking years old because you went through it all so basically what happens is the popes uh, like all the potential popes they all they all get into a house when when one pope fucking croaks and dies like what if i love god and jesus so much but i'm like 30 i can't be a pope. no, no. you, you got to be a bishop no. and work so your way up like all, the game of thrones all, the, all of the potential popes gather together they all go into a house and um i i have to be so old that pope. nobody would ever question me Bingo! No, I get it. Because you never fuck with old people. Yeah, because you're just like, oh, he's an adorable old grandpa. Even though the last one was like, I am Pope Benedict. You look like it's kind of like. Yeah, he's like. I always thought that popes were kind of like. It's like a big con con. What do you call it? Congregation. Yeah, big congregation, like a big frat house. So wait, oh, there's like lots of frat house. They wear backwards caps that they bought at. No, 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 no. They do gospel things like Beta Sigma Popo. No, like like Bob for apples and wine and fucking like I don't know what 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 other crazy like Christian parties like you see all these like. That's another thing too, like in general, like you see Christians, how wacky Christians are, (laughs) and anytime you see a Christian who's crazy, it's like this like really like socially awkward person who's trying to be hip. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? No, I do. <laughs> you hear, what, do you you hear think like, of, what do you think of Christian, like, frat? I'm going to stop you right there. This podcast and is sponsored by ChristianMingle.com. <laughs> We're not. Is ChristianMingle.com actually? That's, oh, that's a real thing, yeah. There's also BlackPeopleMeet.com. Okay, well, that has nothing to do with religion. Yeah, yeah that's so, cool. <laughs> no, but it's like a group of people. It's like and, sick way out of nowhere. It's from? kind of racist. But yeah, but there's a lot of like black sites that you can hook up with black, like the black community. You have to be black though, Samper, sorry. No, you don't. Because black black girls love white guys. So I'm, yeah, I'm in there. Do they have like a black... Oh, come on. Poor <laughs> black guys. Like, <sighs> Do they have like a blackandwhite.com? Like black girls looking black for... Guys no, that's black girls. Whatever. That's black guys a, like white girls too. Yeah. That's blacks on black. I'm not welcome. No, yeah. Black, That's fucking racist. Black guys like white girls. Black girls like white guys. Who likes black guys? 
Black girls and white girls. White girls like black Fucking guys. What I was saying was, I'm, I'm pretty sure that nobody in my direct life, you guys included, you're not religious anymore, but did you grow up religious? Yes. I, I grew up uh, as a Catholic, uh, but I wasn't, didn't really care. Me being raised um, basically came down to me going to church. And I went to church, and my idea of church was, yes, I am going to have Oreo cookies and, and um, what cho kind? chocolate chip. Uh, what, do you, what do you call those, like, uh, those, like, Keebler Elf cookies? Yeah. Chocolate chip Keebler Elf cookies. Fudge stripe cookies? Yeah, yeah. Those fudge stripe. Yeah. All, all <laughs> sorts of chocolate nummy. chip cookies while I watched Veggie Tales. That was my idea of going to church. And I'm like, fuck yeah, I want to go to church. Every, but I wasn't like that. I was like... Freak, yeah, I want to go to church. And then we got still you like that cookies. Though. Yeah, they did. Yeah. And then when, and then like, like you want to go experience real church? Like a priest comes down, and you're like, yeah. And then you go upstairs, and they're like reading from fucking passages and stuff. I'm like, I don't want to read a book. Like, where's I want my the cookies, cookies and veggie tails? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and then you like throw a hissy fit. And you can't throw a hissy fit in like God's house. But after a while, like I started upgrading, and the older you got, you couldn't keep eating the cookies. They were ta they were changing them to crackers. And you're like, but where's my cookies? Yeah, yeah. So it was slowly changing over time to a point where it just changed. Where I wasn't getting cookies anymore. Instead, I was getting pamphlets from like a book and stuff. <laughs> and I'm like, this is school. I don't yeah, want to go this anymore. Is, yeah. They were giving you like Jesus scantrons and shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had this. We had to do coloring books instead of eat cookies about Jesus. We had this priest called Father Hugh who kissed everyone's mom on the mouth. No, did you have? Yeah. yeah. I'm sure he was doing it for God. I'm sure. I don't know. God would let me talk to you When you did um, Catholic Communion, yeah. did you ever do like Ash Wednesday? Or yeah. Did, when, you, when you did um, Communion, did they give you wine or grape juice? No, they didn't give us shit. Uh, they just gave us the bread. Did day. you do Communion? We got grape yeah, juice. but you when, when you do your Communion... You went up and bowed down and they put a cracker on yeah, your you're, tongue. You're eight years old. You go out and everyone's like... Yes, and they're all holding candles, and we're walking toward. Jesus, uh, this sounds kind of creepy when you think back. But we all stand around the altar, <laughs> and, oh. and the priest is like, "And the power of Christ compels you." And then you're like, "Amen." Oh wait, no, that's the fucking. That's, that's uh, the exorcist. No, no, he's just. You would have to no, be possessed he, at that point. You're mixing no. your childhood up with <laughs> no, the exorcist. He says, "No, he, he says the body of Christ is what he, he goes." The we we held down like a cross <laughs> over your head. It was the body of Christ, and some people choose to be um, to put their hands out like one hand under the other. Um, <laughs> Uh, to get it, and some people with the, I, I noticed a correlation between the people who stuck their so, tongues out and the people who end up being sluts later on. But yeah, some, some people stuck their tongue out and they accepted the the bread in their mouth like straight in their mouth. Yeah, and some people just took it on their hands. And those who have sinned, the fucking cracker burned their tongue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, their head just fucking <laughs> melts so off. Like, no, like, their fucking tongue. They took burned. it in their hand versus taking. It. This is actually kind of fascinating. So though. you can pick which one you want to do. And e e when you when if you all the kids to are sin, you put it in your hand. Do you think the priest is up there like he's doing a panel at a convention? He's just like, oh god, oh, I hope that I don't get a whole lot of tongue people. <laughs> yeah, that priest, <laughs> that priest is a rock star on Sundays. Like, but uh, we all stood around the, the the altar and we had sponsors like our aunties, our uncles, our parents, or whatever brothers, sisters. And if they're of age, they get to. I think they get to sip the wine. Uh, but we don't. We just we just got the fucking cardboard. Get some salty ass cardboard cracker. Yeah. They don't give you anything to wash it down. Yeah, no, they just gave us that. And we're like, yeah. No, were you a tongue person or a hand person? What do you think? <laughs> he's an ass person. Like, he's turned around and spread. I, his I feel like you grabbed it and you fucking put it in your hand and you're like, no, I did that. But, but put his tongue out, got the but, cracker on, it, and then he used to wink at girls. Yeah. But he's like, but, guys, what do you mean? It's not true. At the it's priest. just for it's just for impressions. But what you do? You leave it. You leave it on your tongue. If you chew, you're going to hell. If you open your mouth, you're going to hell. If you, yeah, that's what, yeah. If you chew or open your mouth or talk or whatever, when it's what still you in cough? your mouth, you go to hell. You go to hell. You can't cough. That is no. You're going to hell. Straight to hell. No. So you better not have a cold. God, God gave dude, you, your you body. fucking after church, you went home and jerked off to bestiality porn. You're going to hell. Exactly. Oh, make out you ate the wasn't, fucking crack. Wasn't quite bestiality <laughs> porn, but yeah, pretty much. Like I didn't care. <laughs> that's what I don't understand. It's like, well, let's be strict about things you can't do. Yeah, everyone's so fucking good on Sunday, yeah, that's and then they I, go home and do that's the most heinous shit. That bothers me. It's like you know, I actually think that the danger in this whole like in the confession and whatnot, it almost seemed like the whole idea was that you could do anything oh. and God could forgive yeah, you. Yeah, you like, so I essentially, didn't... it was like all these people, That's you know, they would do these terrible things, but at the end of the day, they knew that they could just go to confession yeah, and like, then say Hail Mary Did you, did you guys times. go to confession? Yeah. Um, all right, so wait, wait. So Mick, you you grew up in... Uh, I grew up in a Buddhist household, but my grandmother... <laughs> You're so Chinese. No, but my grandmother was Christian, but I never knew because she would every single day... like. Yeah, but they don't have confession. 
professionals, though. No, no, no. But Niall, you had confession booths, right? So when you're eight years old, you go and get your first communion, and that's what I was talking about. And then when you're about 12, you have your first confession. And then you're like, everyone just goes, That's mandatory? Yes, first confession? yeah. Wow. So, so you go... I thought you did it when you were feeling bad. So No, no. So you go, I'm sorry for... Um, Punching my sister in the face. I'm sorry. Like that. That's the one that everyone had to say. Hitting my brothers and sisters. Oh like, my god! It's like they, Netflix for priests. Kids They're just <laughs> waiting for it. They're like, oh my. God. Yeah. I want to oh, hear yeah, something. Yeah, like, oh, I'm gonna hear some more. juicy fucking gossip here. Well, could like, you imagine like a little kid coming in? Yeah, yeah. No, imagine having 30 kids going. Yeah, like, I'm sorry for punching my in. sister. I'm sorry it's for. Like, it's like I'm sorry for. Um, I'm sorry for raping my grandma or something. Yeah, like. or something like it's like uh, I'm sorry for sneaking looks at my like mom's pussy when she wasn't looking. And the priest is just like. Like he doesn't know what to think, and you're like, oh, and there was that one time. Oh, he knows what to think. Yeah, he you know, knows what to think. He's fucking like, he's, yo, whatever. Yeah? He's sighing a breath yeah? of fresh he's air bald. because that was such Dude, a you're, you're on something your fucking new and nice for him. They're, 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 they're not allowed to masturbate. They're not bad. They're not allowed to masturbate, so their balls must be. You fucking don't fucking cute. know that. It's a confessional. No, he could he could be like this, peer it over with his fucking big schlong. No, yeah, right no, father, father, what's going on over there? I'm beating my Bible. Father's breathing. Father's breathing over your fucking like confessional. He's thumping his Bible. No, so basically like. Tell me I'm not allowed to masturbate, my friend. There's what? also Rural broken. There's also a hypothesis. What happens if a priest has a wet wet dream? Uh, I'm sure. Oh that's fine. yeah. I'm sure that's fine. That's he wakes sin. up and he's like, oh god, I'm so sorry. And yeah. Well, actually, like, no, that wouldn't be fine because that's lust in their head. That's, that means lust exists. Yeah. In their no, head. but your body lust is a sin. No, it's not lust either. It's dude, your balls get so full of fucking. You're thinking juice. too scientifically though. That they don't think like that. They think that like there's lust in your brain. That that you're you're trying to get. You know, it if out. you don't jack off long enough, you can even start to like smell it coming out of your balls. Sack when you're like fucking yeah. sweaty, that yeah. it smells like cum coming out of your nuts. It, it just like seeps through. Yeah, dude. They don't count that. Have, it needs to come out. Yeah. There's like variables. Like I have king size pillows on my bed, and they're like yeah. the size of human bodies. So like you naturally curl so up with I those. So I try to fuck those. Oh, and I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I was gonna say cuddling, but. But so the, well, you right. fuck them, then you cut a little. Fuckle, fuckling. Yeah. So basically. <laughs> All right, now. So two things. Now, I, the real question is, what was the what, what was the sin you had to appease for? In the pillowcase, like a built-in condom. I said I I was a little like delinquent. I used or, to do that. I thought what? I was. So I apologize for bringing a lighter into school because there was this little. I brought a lighter into school when I was like eight or nine because I thought it was cool. And he's like fucking boring. And I showed the, I showed, I showed the God. I showed no, the class nerd. Fucking I show, oh, I show God's the fucking confession. God's always like fucking boring. Bring out the real freaks. I showed the token class nerd called Daryl who talked like this, and I was like. The priest is like, I was like get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I was like, Daryl, look at this. Look what I got here. Look what I got right a here. A fucking lighter, you fucking nerd. It's a fucking lighter, Daryl. And he was like, holy shit. I was like, yeah, look what I can do. And I like, like turn on the lighter. And he went straight to the teacher and goes, Nigel brought a fire lighter into school. And then I was like, it's not even a fucking fire lighter. It's a goddamn lighter. And then they like, call my parents. Wait, wait, wait. And, What's a fire lighter? A fire lighter is like the fucking brick that you put in the fireplace where you fire. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, then you, uh... A log? Yeah, then I went... No, no, it was like... A Bro, you had in trouble for bringing a log into school? No, it was a lighter, but he said it was a fire lighter, and I was like, it's not a fucking Are fire Are you talking about those big, long sticks that you light, No, like, they're like, they're kind of, they're kind of like brick-shaped coal, but they're like, made of peat. I don't know if I'm being Irish here, because this is a big Irish thing, probably. Yeah, you dude, would get you into just more said, trouble than You just said a brick... You just said a brick made of peat. That's that's pretty fucking Irish. We don't have a lot of those around here. Yeah, it, they come from bogs. E even what? more Irish. So okay. you get into more trouble for bringing in a brick made of peat than no no I no no no. I brought the lighter in, but he said it was a fire lighter. So I'm not a goddamn fucking fire. Well, I thought I was I was eight. So uh, I thought yeah, that, I, I thought I was I thought I was a fucking like the baddest kid on earth. So I went in the end my confession. I was like. I'm sorry for. Oh. I remember saying "damn" when I was for, in the third grade. I'm I was sorry. a god. A true story. Oh yeah, uh, one time I was at my uncle's house and I was sleeping on the couch and then I pissed the cushion and then I was so embarrassed, but I just flipped the cushion and then I passed back out and lo and behold, I pissed it again. Oh man, that happened hey, to me. Mick, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to the confession. I was like, "Yeah, I brought a lighter into school, expecting him to be call the police." Um, but no, he just he, he's just like, yeah, that's all right, say four Hail Marys. Yeah, but again, when you're in school... I was like, four Hail Marys? Man, I thought it was a fucking bad boy. I thought that was really good. I earned at least 15 Hail Marys. But so wait like, a minute, wait a minute. Even when I used like a swear word in school, I was just like, oh God, they're going to fucking call the cops on me. Like, you, you <laughs> Oh just my like, God, yeah. I was the same thing. Everything is the biggest deal, for sure. It's like, it's like when I first watched... Okay, when I Now watched, I will put my finger in somebody's face and say, fuck you, and go home and sleep like a baby. What, what is the... What's the uh, chart? Like, uh, how does it... Uh, fuck you! How does it... Uh, the priest pulled it out of his ass. No, That's how does it ramp as far as the Hail Marys go? You shoot so, somebody, 25. 
five Hail Marys. But you... If you kill somebody. Yeah. That's like 40 Hail Marys. pull my ass out. Yeah, that's like 10 Hail Marys. 10? Yeah. <laughs> what, what if you gangbang a like bunch of popes? <laughs> uh, gangbang a bunch of popes. Well, it's considering that a pope has to like die before a new pope gets appointed. Um, a no. bunch of potential popes. You oh. gangbang a bunch of nuns. So what you happens? go into the house that I was talking about earlier. How? What's the max? Where's the cutoff as far as Hail Marys? How about Is there a point somebody? where Hail Marys won't save you? Right. Well, if he says infinite Hail Marys, you'll never reach it. But would they he ever? would actually say infinite Hail Marys? No, but probably. I Maybe don't know. Maybe if he was drunk. Maybe. But anyway, so... Can a priest ever tell you in confession that there is not enough Hail Marys for you to save your soul? And if that, and if they're not allowed to say that, what do you think the max is on Hail Marys? I'd be like, yo, speak for yourself. Like, you're so fucking good. What did you do this, this morning? I know you did something, priest. <laughs> you gotta say, that is your real name. I know you're on fucking <laughs> priesthub.com looking at... You so, went out, nuns are hot. So basically, the look at up nun. He's like, he's like, he's like, a, like, he's really like an old man, things. so he like types in naked nuns and like nun vaginas. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's like literally, he's like vaginal sex. <laughs> close, close up, close up vagina, close what, vagina, what is Mary's vagina name? close up, and he ba he's like all bashful and what he is, blushes. No, like, Miley he has like a doctor. Vagina. He has like a doctor like appointed like picture, and he's just like so. <laughs> no, she's doing wait, stuff. Wait, what is? What's Mary's name? Full name? Mary uh, Joseph? Vir Virgin, Virgin Mary. Virgin Mary? Mary, Mary Joseph? Mary. <laughs> Do you think anyone's jerked If that was after she got married there's, to there's Joseph? There's definitely Rule 34 of Mary. Do you think anyone's jerked off to Mary? Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. oh people love virgins. Of course yeah. they would. <laughs> She's In fact, hot. you know, you guys were joking around saw, about priests, like, Googling pictures of vaginas. I, I guarantee Mary. there's some horny priests listen, looking at pictures of listen. Adam and Eve sitting there fucking listen. covering up Adam's face. Mary was you know, not- like, Mary <laughs> was not- <laughs> Mary was saw, not a virgin. I saw a picture. Eve, Eve? I, I saw a picture of Mary and um, she had a bulge and she was like sporting like a BDSM wear and she had a bunch of demon nuns around her. It was really hot. How do you see a picture of Mary? They're all like artist representations. No, it's yes. rule 34. It's like artists that don't give a fuck. Oh, okay. Yeah, but like how Artistic do you know it's Mary? That could be anybody. Uh, yeah. Forgive me. He has, uh, oh, I thought Corey's, you were doing pearl necklace or something. I don't Cor know what this is. Corey's like doing the, the fucking pray thing wrong. You have to yeah. put on your head too. No, I'm not. It's he's doing the pearl you, you look like you're trying to shave your neck. Yeah, right you look now. like you're trying to slit your throat. <laughs> you look like you're threatening to slit all your uh, throat. Yeah, there you go. You're doing it right now. All right, but yeah, so basically, priests or uh, potential popes all go into a house, fight to the death, and whoever wins, uh, like, smoke comes out of the chimney. That's and, it's not what happens. What happens is a priest dies, and one of the priests, one of the priests comes out of the no! No! Yes! So, okay, so the Pope dies. There's no Pope for a few days. They all go into a house, right? Every night, uh, black smoke comes out of the That's chimney. That's not what Until happens! Until they Until pull the priest out of the ground from the fucking- He's trying to tell us what really happened. That's not what happens! There's not black smoke and a priest rides out of it. I want to hear <laughs> Niall's Pope Club story. Mine's way better. I had a frat house- Re -envisioning you were pulling up house. potato popes. No, I you wasn't. You said that they were pulling them up out of the ground by their ears. Metaphorically, you didn't even. I didn't even get a pump what the fuck I was yeah. saying. I, I didn't get to finish what I was like saying. The fucking popes just buried in that the dirt. That was a metaphor. You pull them out of the the pump ground potato. of potential victimized people, and you potato. save him. That's what I was saying. You didn't let me finish. See. Okay. I didn't create my landscape of sinners. I, I actually right. like your potato story better. With your though. garden of sinners. Now let yeah. Niall finish, guys. Now stories. It's like a KISS concert. That is, okay. Fuck that. <laughs> Wait, so the things that relate my stories to KISS is just fuck them both. Fuck them. Fuck Nile stories and fuck KISS concerts. Therefore, no. fuck your story. Black Smoke rising out, playing Niall, his guitar with his tongue sticking out. finish your story so priests, with your tongue hanging out like Gene Simmons. Go! Asshole! The, the, no, priests, <laughs> they sit in the fucking house, right? Every single night. They have to. They have to decide who wants to be the next pope. You know how well they all want to be the fucking pope. They're Everyone like, wants to be the pope. Yeah, but they all have to decide together. Why would they you get, want to be the pope? It's not like you're gonna get pussy and they get kicked out of the house like Big Brother. It's like they they vote each it's other like out of the house. It's not what they, they sit. They sit on the chair and they're like, Ugh, this pope is really bothering me today because they like used all the ketchup and like left none for left for anyone else. So like they fucking they kick the this guy is out. This the real world pope. Yeah, they kick edition. a guy out. They kick, <laughs> they kick a guy out that night. Black smoke comes out of the chimney all until they the, find, the pope isn't a seventeen year old girl. Girl who's who's fucking upset about her yellow Ferrari, okay? It's not how popes are. I know. So wait, is the long story short that they keep whittling it down until there's one left? And then when there's one left, it's white smoke, and they're what's like, that? ah, a new pope has been appointed, and everyone Hold on, what's that, what's that show with, like, a girl who has to find her, her date? It's like a popular show? The Bachelor. Show? Yeah, this is- The Bachelorette. This isn't The Bachelorette, starring popes. Wait, who's the bachelor in this scenario? A pope. No, but then who are the girls in this scenario? The popes. A pope. <laughs> you just fucking said, um, he uses all the ketchup. 
So that Pope's gone. That Pope is fucking that gone. That was a metaphor. A new a so on a more, I what <laughs> on a more what is the ketchup? It's punk. On a more serious note, the Sin one, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so I was, I was talking with Stamper before in the car about this, and um, and it it's something that's always kind of confused me a little bit. Now I have very religious friends, and I have no qualms with religious people until their beliefs start, you know, imposing on mine. You and me yeah. my face. Until somebody puts a fucking right. finger in my face and tells me I'm wrong. Exactly. I don't give a fuck what you're doing. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But totally the one cool. thing that always kind of got, like, I, I loved having religious debates with my friends, but there was one debate that I never got a straight answer about. And I was never satisfied with any of the answers they gave me. And I'm very open-minded. If there was an answer that logically made sense, and maybe there's a listener out there no, who can explain it in a logical way that doesn't end in because the Bible said so. Noah's Ark. Fuck you. Am I right? No. I was close. No. Oh, I see what you're saying. No, no. That this means that you're still concerned and you're still worried that there might be a God out there. I'm, well, maybe. Look, I'm not saying there isn't one. I just, I have no sure, reason sure. to believe there is one. But continue. Anyway, so this is it. It's really simple. The idea that Jesus was sacrificed for mankind. That idea bothers me yeah, a lot. Yeah, because, because like, they skim over. Don't they? Well, no, it's not a sacrifice. A sacrifice is when you give something up. They say that God sacrificed his son, right? And also, not to mention that he is also God at the same time. But you don't get to give something to people, kill it off, and then get it right back. And expect it in return. Something well, no, no, in return. No, but that's not a sacrifice. Look, no. if, if, he, if Jesus came down died and went to hell or disappeared out of existence that's a sacrifice you lost something he but got god, him right back yeah, yeah but yeah. god god brought him down for what 30 some odd years yeah he dies and goes right back up for eternity yeah and, and, like, dude, in, that's in a fucking heaven, yeah. and he's fucking jesus in heaven he's got the palace right. up at the top of the hill so, in heaven. so here we are we're supposed to feel really terrible about this guy you know meanwhile not not mentioning all the oh. other people who were crucified and also tortured and also worse a lot ways of fucking People Absolutely worst ways. Too, yeah. Oh, there were yeah. a ton of people crucified. So not only that, but the idea that they're like, look, he would sacrifice his son for mankind. But if you extrapolate back a little bit, God knows knows all, right? Okay. So he knew he was going to make Jesus. He knew he was going to sacrifice his son. Like he made him. For That's the not purpose. a sacrifice, by the way. That's a loan. Yeah, he made him for the purpose of doing it. It's like he he like he, he loaned him to us for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, He's like, like, look, I'm going to give, him, like, I'm gonna give this guy. I'm going to give you this guy. You can do some pretty sweet <laughs> magic magic trick for you cavemen because you don't really see much these days. So like basically like he's gonna come in, he's gonna make bread and wine and shit, and like then he's then I'm gonna kill him off. Like why is that a sacrifice? I, why is he? Why did he die for my sins? I didn't. He didn't do anything for me. I just feel like Jesus was like the first YouTube star. Like he just knew how to like touch no, people. No, no, he like, was the first like he was the first scam artist because like I, that's yeah, what I he mean. Was the first snake oil salesman. What the fuck do you think I mean? So yeah. you're saying if YouTube existed, that's all back we then, do on, on he was YouTube like, is he's the first snake oil. He, fucking, he, he was doing water. A, he was the he first had water. He's like watch. Turn into wine. Yeah, but if if he, he went, if YouTube existed, like sneeze, then, the water yeah, out then like, wine it, like years <laughs> later, like like four there or five years like, after oh. he fucking died, there would be all these people, all these girls coming out talking about how Jesus fiddled them and shit like that, or you yeah. know, uh, you know, he did it some uh, some sermon while he was en route to like Jimmy Savile. Yeah, or, 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 no, that, Salt or what's his name? Wait, wait. Fucking, you guys whatever. talked about this before. I always thought, this and then was, it's like that cyclical thing where it's like if Nile, it's like that. Uh, what, what's it called? Like purple monkey refrigerator thing where like you tell me something then I just keep building it up and yeah. then like I've never met Jesus before and then you're like yeah he did this and I'm like oh shit and then I tell Corey and I'm like yeah and then there's this blind guy and then he put his hand on his face pretty much just like Sam Pepper <laughs> like he just went around going like yeah, yeah, this yeah. He's got, like, yeah he's pretty much like he's like getting girls numbers with my fucking, you know, he's like, he's just going around like doing shit, but and then it was like word of mouth kind of. Oh, thing. he's saying like peppering people. He was pinching bottoms. He yeah, got crucified, bottoms. and he paid for it. Pretty yeah. much, yeah. He fucking died. <laughs> That's kind of funny because Sam Pepper got crucified too. Exactly. As well, he should have been. He was God's son. <laughs> he died for our sins. Sam Pepper died for well, our sins. Well, it's like what you guys said. Listen, like, I want to pinch asses too, all right? Yeah, but don't go around pinching strangers' asses. Jesus did. <laughs> well, he, allegedly. Did. That's no. alleged in quotes. He, he may have. All right, so Niall, yeah. you're a Catholic. Corey, you are a blank. Mm hmm. <laughs> you were a I was, Buddhist raised in a Christian household. As far as I knew, I was atheist because I didn't really... My grandma never Christian. talked about God. 
and she was Christian, but she never talked about God ever to me. Not until I was like 18 did I ever realize that the book that she had that was completely in Chinese was actually a holy Bible. And that she was translated and that she was praying every fucking meal and every night. I had no idea. She never talked to me about Jesus ever. People like that comfort at the end of the night. How was the Bible? Was it more in turn of things you actually need? Did they have like stir fry recipes and shit? Yeah, yeah, did did Chinese Jesus bring more rice when you needed it? Yeah, yeah. I knew it. Yeah. See? Like, there's different excerpts for all... He took a grain of rice... He took a grain of rice and he made it a whole thing. That's right. And right. then he took a rat and he was able to serve all the parts of the rat. And that's how we learned. Like, the, everyone was eating with rat livers yeah, and rat toes. Yeah, little they know, it started the Black Death. Good yeah. job, Jesus. Yeah, good job, Chinese Jesus. I mean, yeah. <laughs> not, not to be confused with real Jesus. <laughs> Here's my religion story. I grew up Christian. A hardcore Christian. It took me many years to shake it. Actually, I had a really long com- com- shake it. It's like a fucking heroin addiction. <laughs> Truthfully, it is. You know. You know what? You know what? Fuck you, man. You know the first, the first, the first like casualty is un untucking your shirt and like fucking like wearing your shirt like a Neanderthal. And- Listen, I was cool. All right, so <laughs> I had to tuck my shirt in and wear like fucking. I had a I had a really colors. good I had a really good and a really long conversation with uh, uh, El Cid Rodrigo because we grew up in very similar ways where we were very religious and then it took us a long time to kind of get it out of our heads because we were like it was like 15 years of somebody battering something yeah. into your head that is really literally good. brainwashing by the way that is exactly how you actually brainwash exactly them. but you know and like my parents weren't religious they just knew that church was good for me so mm-hmm. every Sunday I'd go to Sunday school and whatever and I, I remember uh, there was this one I was sitting like every I would always go to sermon after Sunday school and I'd sit and listen to my priest who he was a fucking great guy he was a really nice guy yeah and um, they were always so fucking boring. And I was a kid. I didn't understand what the hell he was yeah, talking dude. about. So it's like anything else. You turn on the TV and, and MASH or something comes on. You don't get what the fuck you're looking at. So you right. change the fucking channel. But you can't change the fucking channel in church. No. And then at you, the end of every sermon, he says... You uh, improvise and plug your ears. But did you get that, did you get that thing where it was like he'd tell the same story again? You're like, oh, we've heard this one before. Yeah! No, yeah. because I never got old enough to, to do that. But at the end of every sermon... <laughs> Section B, 3, I heard this like, oh, for fuck's sake, like, this is a rerun. <laughs> but he would say, like, uh, if anybody wants to devote their life to God, come up here. And uh, one day, I was so fucking bored in church. You just I got ran up, there? up there. And I was like, here I am. And everyone was like, yeah, he's going to devote his life to God. And it was almost like everybody else was waiting for somebody to walk Yeah, they didn't want to do it. <laughs> right. So, like, we were all fucking excited because something was finally happening. Yeah. yeah. For me, sorry, I don't know if I, like, kind of your story. No, no, that's fine. For me... I have to finish it, though, because uh, it's ridiculous. Okay. Well, I guess for me, um, my church stories were more like the stuff I remember growing up as being Christian always felt goofy to me. Like Adam and Eve and Noah's Ark and Moses always felt like these like fucking Disney fairy tales, which <laughs> like it's like and the they're guy always who parted by the, like a 40 yeah, year old yeah. woman. Yeah, this guy who parted the sea. I'm like, when did this come out on fucking Disney? Like they parted the sea. This and dude I- had a fucking ship with every animal in the world, sailed over a flood, a talking snake and the first ever man and woman. It's just like, I'm like, man. Now I'm just thinking back and it was like, shit, are my Sunday school teachers okay yeah. now? But Do they understand? <laughs> but that's the thing. The Life? only thing, the only thing I remember are those three stories. I know there's tons of passages, but to me, I always thought Christianity had a bunch of stories as guidelines. Even as a kid, I thought it was like, oh, this is like sharing and be nice to your neighbors. I didn't know these people out there that are like. It's well, you know, happened. I'm I'm still cool. I, I understand like the guidelines are definitely like uh, genuine in yeah. a lot of ways, but at the same time, it's common sense. You know what? Don't rape and murder people. Yeah, yeah I said it's the like end. It's pretty yeah. fucking simple. Yeah. So, exactly how I, see it. I want you to get back into your story. I just want to throw in there really quickly. You said that you ran up there and you said that you were going to devote your life to, to God because you were bored. Well, no, but if for some reason I had this weird moment in my head where I was thinking almost like in a uh, from dusk till dawn moment like if there was ever like a, a vampire apocalypse or something if i could like we would need you you like stamper you'd be drinking a beer and we'd be so royally fucked and it was like stamper <laughs> wait 
You you devoted yourself to God. Yeah, there's all you, you, you need to bless dude, the beer, you gotta man. fucking do this shit, you dude. You're like, ah, oh, man, I don't know how to do it. You splash it in vampire space. Yeah. Oh, shit, yeah, you're like, uh, uh, I don't know, does that work? Did I get the power? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Dude, I think that's how it works. You got first dibs. Yeah, you went up there, the priest gave it to you, whether you used it or not. But he gave you the secret code to use it, though. You have to say the secret prayer. Were you guys baptized? Yeah. I wasn't. I was. I had my little- No, let me tell you something. I had my little baby No, let me tell you something. You know why I was I was baptized? Because I heard the priest takes you out for ice cream if you do all that. Wait, does he hold so, your hand? No. We went, <laughs> does, he, does he brush your hair like slightly with his We hand? went to Dairy Queen and I'm sitting there eating my sundae and he's like, so how do you feel about God? And I was like, oh, it's, I fucking love him. It's great. <laughs> he's yummy. Like you were, you were, you were, <laughs> dude, he's I'm very like, chocolatey. I don't, I don't know, know what the fuck, it's just like they wanted fucking ice cream and I went up there because I was bored. <laughs> I was baptized and devoted my life to God because I was bored and wanted ice cream. So then what happened? Do you know, the end. Wait, wait, do I still have my powers? I think so. You know like when a black dude gives you like a nigga pass? Oh, that's right. You, you got the- Wait, Stamper got the nigga pass. Dude, I got the nigga pass like 20 years ago. I know, ago. but today I saw it in action. Yeah. What when we were walking into the office, you go, Hey, brother! And then out of absolutely nowhere, a black guy just comes <laughs> out of the corner and just goes, Hey, Stamper! And you're like, Hey, man! And, and then he we popped out of a dumpster like Oscar the Didn't Black. he, though? Where did he come <laughs> from? He handed me a laminated car. Does that happen if you say that anywhere? Do you, do you just go, hey, brother? Dude, dude yeah, try over? it, man. Just go to fucking. I, I don't have the No, we had, we had Greg come over. Greg works on our house. He's this older black gentleman, but he comes in and every single time he's like, every time he sees Stamper, he's like, hey, baby. And he's like, hey, baby. And then they both like get on like that. Stamper. Um, he's my baby. Do you know how you said you, you were baptized because you wanted ice cream? Yeah. I got reason? fucking water in my nose and everything. No, no, it's bullshit. The only there's a, reason there's a fucking swimming wait, pool. You, I, know, on, I know, I know. It's Did you have like stuff? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know it's fucking taxing, but the reason why I went to it is because like you know like wet t shirts and stuff. Yeah. Oh wait, no, you didn't get. No, I thought I would see like milk duds. No, you they saw yours a, though. No, you they, they gave you a wet no, t shirt. I went to I went to a Baptist thing because we had we thought we would see girls' titties. Yeah, instead it was just a bunch of boys. That kids. is a sin, and you're going to hell, Corey. Guy would high five me. Mm. He'd be like, dude, I would have done the same thing if I was. I was like, built in God's God. image, and he better fucking like titties and butts. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, what's up with that? Yeah, if God built us in His image, then he must be a fucking freak, dude. Who's <laughs> your fucking filthy pervert, dude? Yes. Trap. <laughs> He was like traps. Yeah, dude, he's, he's totally like cross-dressing and fucking like- I'm so like, fucking sorry. Music. He's I got a great big creatures. ass. He's got some sumptuous boobies. No, no, it's like that's- you guys talk- He's about, got a big old wiener. He right next to his juicy vagina. You talked about this- I didn't ask him to put juicy, delicious butts on girls. That wasn't my idea. I was thrown into this world. Whatever, yeah. you got the pass. Like just a planted. Christopher Nolan movie. <laughs> I just planted here like, and like, I just see like fucking like, our asses all around me, like, and he's like, Listen. "Oh God!" Like, if like God has to be like that, or is that a challenge that he's giving to you? Yeah, he's giving you temptation. Is he giving you temptation? He's like, "Look at this! Look at this butt! Look at this bartender that just served you tonight!" Oh, don't, oh, don't, don't get do too, that. don't get too personal. You know what? That don't always bothered that. me too. This don't, whole like free what will if that bullshit. Was God? It's what was like he gave the whole point is that we have free like, will, so we God. make the right choices, <laughs> so that we get to go to heaven, right? But if you make the wrong choices, you don't get to go to heaven. But if he knows everything, he already knows all the choices that you would have made before you were even fucking made. No, so but, why but, did he ever fucking make you? No, no, but so they, you could have the free will. What, yeah. to fuck up and go to hell? They say, Thanks for creating me so I could go to hell, asshole. I, me and Zach were talking did. about this the other day, and we're like, That's the only why. person that, it, it, like, if heaven exists, the only person in there is, like, Mr. Rogers. Like, Mr. He, Rogers was awesome. He was the only, like, guy who, like, who Listen, didn't man. sin. God has a sense of humor. I hope he's up there. God has a sense of humor because he created humans. And also God has a sense of humor because he created humans and monkeys. So the atheists could argue that we came from monkeys and that we weren't born at the same time. What? Yeah. Wait, no, yeah, you, huh? get, you, get that, you, you get that argument where it's like, if monkeys still around, then why do we still have monkeys? Yeah, it's no. like, it's God created monkeys and Because people. we're not monkeys. We're like fucking, we have this common ancestor that goes back like tens of thousands of years. I'm joking. No, I know, I know. I'm just saying, like, what they it's think. It's a rich raffle. Here's another one. <laughs> so you have God, whatever. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Christ. You have heaven and hell, right? Yeah. So you be a the good man. boy, and you go to heaven. Wait, and purgatory. Who is purgatory? Is purgatory in all, or is that just in, like, Catholicism, or just in... Purgatory what? is right now! Yeah. yeah. Well, it's purgatory, sleepy cast! <laughs> We're halfway there. <laughs> We just gotta make the better That decisions. is the name of this episode. Purgatory is Sleepy Cat. We're just purgatory. But it is. 
So you have good boy town and bad boy town, right? Yeah, and then you're a good boy, you go up north, and you're a bad boy, you go down south. Why are they working together? You know, if I hated somebody, why would I be like, listen, this guy's a piece of shit. Can you punish him for eternity? I'm like, can you set him on fire for the rest of his? I didn't sign up for this fucking game of life. <laughs> I don't understand how it's like. Yeah, you know, it has to be bored. So what's it has to be bored, God? Mom. Give me back my choice. So so what's the story? Like Lucifer is kicked out of heaven, right? Because yeah. he's like a fallen angel. He's fallen angel. He was jealous. He was jealous that God loved the humans or something. Right. Okay. So he's he's in hell, right? Yeah. This is propaganda from God. You know what I think? Yeah, he's probably the but nice then, guy. I think God wants to fuck. So God. if he doesn't like fucking God, then why is he doing God favors and punishing people? <laughs> he's employed by you know, God still. I have, yeah, I have a question. And he's like fucking, still mad. I have, I have a pyramid scheme. He's making like minimum Lucifer wage. Do you think? <laughs> do you think um, either God or Jesus? Do you think they might be closet homosexuals? <laughs> why do you say that? Because they have such an avid hatred for gays. Yeah, most people, they, they most people who hate gays a lot, they yeah, are the gay. people who are like, yeah, really they definitely spread it. it you know, like, what I'm yeah, yeah, I like, want to know, I want to know where that whole stigma came from. Like, some guy saw another guy with another guy, yes, and there was a, it. they had such a problem with it that they yeah. had to write it into yeah. the Bible. Yeah, exactly. Or, or was there they a prophet? They wrote it in an ancient tome. They did. They were like, like fucking facts. <laughs> 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 no, but it's like, seriously, what, that, what? What could have possibly? Who thought to put that in there? And and you know what I mean? Like who was like, yeah, totally. Yeah. Fuck those God guys. Hates, God hates. God hates rapists. And it's like, God are you sure? Murderers? Yes, and God told me. People. God told me he hates gay people. It's like what? God came down from the heavens and told me he hates gays. <laughs> it's like, and then someone's like, yeah, let's put that in the book. I just, yeah, but it it's just like, seems so bizarre. But it's to like, me. what about lesbians? It was effective. It's yeah. still going on. I know. As if it fucking matters of what your things, fucking though. neighbors doing. Who gives a shit? You got murder. You got exactly. plagues. You got starvation. That's exactly. You got all wars. You got all this fucking shit. But then you got two guys kissing, and someone's like. It's the worst! It's the worst of yeah. them all! It's I don't give two it. fucks if the guy at Wawa is fucking another guy! What difference does it make? It has no draw on my life! I sort of understand why it is a crime! None. That's what's so bizarre to me, like... That, it fascinates me with The that one thing that I've noticed... The Mind difference. your own fucking business, that's what I say. The one thing I've noticed, like, they... Mind they, your own business, Corey. They give the argument... Mind your own business, Mick! I am. I, I, they, no! Mind your own business! They give About the, what? They give the argument of the sanctity. guys? It, it ruins the sanctity it's of marriage. Hot. I know. The sanctity. It is. They, right. they give the argument that it ruins the right? sanctity of marriage. Marriage is a holy sacrament. Just, just like communion, just like confirmation. So worry shit. about your own fucking marriage. However. Do you know what the number one cause of divorce is? No. Marriage. Yeah, I love it. Right? That's like a fucking oh my God. Hey, 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 dude. I think the first ever stand of communion said that joke. But no, but uh Yeah, back in Jesus' time. But the time, thing is, the difference uh, between, uh, it's in the Bible. The difference between <laughs> Ireland and here is that no one is divorced really in Ireland. Like a couple, like rarely, rarely anyone is divorced in Ireland. But you here, guys meet when you're like 23 and just put up with it. No, but yeah, no. I think it's they might be scared. I don't know. Or they, but here I've noticed oh, everybody's divorced. It's hardcore Catholic over there though. Over here, but it's, it's hardcore not, though, Christian. They all pretend they are. That's the thing. They all like they, like I don't know anyone like in Ireland who will like rub fucking the Bible. It's in brownie head. points since they're always looking down upon the it. The main God, driving like, point for every human being ever, regardless of anything they do, any walk of life they have, is fear. That's it. Everyone I've met. Why do you in wake up in the morning? Why do you get your work done? I'm afraid I'm going to get fired. I'm afraid this is going to happen. You're saying marriage is, and you're afraid you're going to be alone. Oh well, and then that the one religion the, ties in. People. I'm pretty. It's pretty safe to say like, that. Why do you support God? I don't want to go to hell and be burned for eternity. It's pretty fear. It's pretty safe to say that all of my friends' parents are divorced. Like, are your your parents are divorced? Yeah. Your parents are divorced. <laughs> my parents, Zach's parents were are divorced, divorced and are remarried. Divorced. Your, your parents are divorced. Happy that is crazy. Like that never happens in Ireland. That is so rare. And here it's just like. America. Like you, like I, I, you should get, you should get divorced. Like I think because it's like, also a strange era. Happy. Like where, um, like for example, my parents were married when they were nineteen. Bad idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a fuck up now. There's no way I'm gonna get married now. Yeah, no, Stanford, you're doing it right. Like you, you you're what I want to be in like a few years. You, you know what's so if, funny if this, though? If this was the generation back then, we would all have children right now. My parents are. Oh were, my god. When my dad and mom were my age, they were already <laughs> like dating. They're already like. Dude, it's, it's pretty not common happening. to have kids when you're a fucking teenager. Yeah. But you know what's interesting is anytime I've I've spoken with someone and they mention that they've gotten a divorce, if you ever say, "Oh, I'm sorry," 
the response a hundred percent of the time that that I've experienced is I'm, I'm not, not. I knew exactly you were gonna fucking because say that. yeah. that's exact. They got a divorce because they weren't happy. Divorces don't just happen accidentally. I mean, yeah, there might be some cases where you know it wasn't necessarily uh, mutual, but for the most part. If people are willing to get a divorce, it's probably been building up for a while and that they are not happy. So once it, they it, do do the split, I, I actually they don't are know. Happy. I don't know the statistic here, but is it safe to say that most marriages end in divorce in America? I, I don't I don't know if it's most. I would enough. say I would say the, wise, but, I don't but know every one of my friend's say, parents are divorced. Every I will say them. that it's rare to see a very happy marriage. My parents yeah. had Sometimes it works well. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes it works very well. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, but you know what? Sometimes you do fucking Let's Plays and you get 8 billion fucking subscribers. Guess what? You're part of this point zero 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 one percent At the same time, I'll say yeah. this for the record. Mm. Fuck marriage. If you find somebody that you really like, just spend time with them forever. Why get married? That, 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 that's what I, I always say when I like get a girlfriend or whatever. I'm always like, uh, I was like, I'm, I, I said this since I was a kid. I'm, I'm, I'm always going yeah, to get... Yeah, there's a lot of residual shit. Family pressure. Taxes. Yeah, 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 I said this like, ever since I was a kid. It is interesting that the government promotes it in terms of like how the system is built to give certain benefits to married couples. It's just interesting that the system actually is built around. Well, there's that. a lot. There's a lot of factors. They're like ladies, they they grow up and they think about their ideal marriage and stuff yeah. like that. And but they don't. I wouldn't say that's another form of brainwashing. But at the same time, it's like. It's just something that's kind of in your bones from in a oh, very I early. See, I, don't, I don't think humans are made to be uh, monogamous because, like, uh, well, they uh, most certainly aren't. It's no. when, when, when you just spend your life with one person. Like, why man, can't we just jump in a big old pile of humans and just be happy? <laughs> the horny. That's how it's a big cluster happy fuck. and horny. <laughs> that's how it's supposed to be. But uh, why can't you surround yourself with people and spend time with people you care about? What you really meant to say was, why can't you surround yourself with people you want to fuck and fuck them? Yes. <laughs> well, I mean that's part of it. But, <laughs> but no. But ever since I was a kid, I always said like, I, like I said this. So any any like girlfriend I ever have, I always be like, I've, it's not just you. I've always said that I'm always going to get prenup, and I'm always going to get. I'm always going to not want to get married. But if you if if I find someone I love who really really wants to get married, and that's what they really want, all right, fair enough. Like I'll, I'll probably just fucking bite the bullet and do but it. But if you married them, you would be monogamous. Yeah. Well, no, I, I would be monogamous. Like, if every relationship I ever have a monogamous, like, I don't... He's sure. talking I'm special good. case. Yeah, yeah, just a very special case, but... Yeah. Versus, uh, what's it called, um... Versus obligation, obligation right, to yeah. do so. Yeah, 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 but that's the thing. But that, but that is part of marriage. The, the part of it, and it's not even supposed to be a shameful word when you say it in the context of marriage, is obligation is a part of the job description. You should, through better or worse, right? For better or for worse. So, I mean obligation beforehand, the obligation to get married well, yeah, before yeah. any of the obligation even yeah. kicks in. That is, And socially, though, that is an obligation. You stick around with a, a, a partner long enough, people start asking questions if you don't get married. Or they all start pressuring you to do so. I think, though, that the end result is because they want you to have kids, is really what it is. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. You can't have kids. To advance the human race. Yeah. I, I, like, I don't know. I actually just don't know, but is a monogamy like is a mom and dad and a kid situation is that better for the kid than divorce situation? Is, is it? Well, look at look at it this way. Like, um, I guess it's different because for me, I didn't. My dad, my parents were divorced when I was one, so my dad was my stepdad. We were divorced when I was two. Yeah, I, my mom got divorced when I was like. Uh, like six, seven months yeah. old. But my dad was my stepdad, and I always considered him more of like my father figure. Right. So it never, I guess it really just depends on how you're raised. On how Absolutely. You, you know. 100%. I do not think you need to have one male, one female. You do not need to have two no. parents. I think if you have one strong parental figure, you're, you're set. I mean, look, I was raised by my grandma primarily because my mom was working and she was in college and I never met my dad and my mom didn't get remarried until Isn't I was that 12. common in Asia though? What? To have a, a a grandma raise you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they have the whole family unit. Uh, my grandfather was still in Asia at the time and he would come to visit occasionally. But yeah, my grandma pretty much raised me and I I think I turned out okay, honestly. You know what I mean? And yeah. so I, I don't think it's a matter You're of standing citizen. <clears throat> well, I don't think it's a matter of you know, oh, you need to have a mom and a dad in order for you to, you know, whatever the case is. I think that's a very bizarre and, and closed-minded view of it. I know plenty of people with a mom and a dad, you know, straight out of a picture book, and they are the biggest fucking assholes I know. I have, I have no 
problem believing that you could be raised by fucking wolves, and if they were good wolves, that you would come out as a decent person. You'd be fine, yeah, yeah. 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 Hmm? I want to talk about how, in general, how sinning is looked down upon, and it's like there's so many things that are considered sinning, like the seven deadly sins, like gluttony, uh, yeah. sloth, um, get them all, lust, mm -hmm. greed, yeah. Uh, wrath. Wrath. Is theft. Wrath isn't a sin. Yeah, it, it is. is. Actually, wrath is, yeah, is wrath is one of them. Is it really? Yeah. Seven. Yeah. How do you define wrath? It's just Anger. When you, it's yeah. Like coming down on somebody. And murder. Envy. Envy. So the seven deadly sins are lust, gluttony, greed, sloth, wrath, envy, and pride. Right. And what's funny is like half of those things you fucking do on a regular basis. Half of those just things you just, can't like live. You can't what, actually yeah, function. Yeah, whoops! I was proud of myself. Yeah. yeah, I'm so fucking sorry that the last three yeah. months of my life were horrible, and then I was finally yeah. proud of something. You made, that I you made a did. fucking macaroni makeshift thing for your mom, and and she's so proud of it, and she, you have pride because of that. Is that a fucking sin? And then now both of you are fucked. I, I studied. <laughs> I studied for. I studied for twelve years to become a fucking surgeon, and I can't be proud of myself. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, I don't want. I don't want to sit. Just but you could also spin so many things. Like even even if like doing good, right? Even if doing good, you you're someone who it likes to give, right? Yeah. Because it makes you feel good. Yeah. So you give a lot. Yeah. Well, now you're being greedy. <laughs> you are because you're doing something for yourself. Where's this? No matter seven, how much you, you where's, give where's in order to feel seven, good. Where's the seven lovely sins? Yeah. Not to be confused. Uh, with the, the seven sins. lovely sins are chastity. Temperance, charity, diligence, patient kindness, and humility. Oh wow! I didn't fucking know. Those are just, so, the, same those are just thing. the opposites. So one of them. Yeah. So one of them are chastity, which means you're not allowed to have sex. That's right. A, that's a. Th yeah. So it's in a virtue, fairness, just, right? okay. So it's basically just don't have fun. Right. Yeah. Just, just <laughs> don't, don't have don't. sex. Don't be proud of yourself. No, I think you know if the seven deadly Wait, sins. Wait, sex is supposed to be fun? Uh, well, <laughs> it's not. Yeah, well, I guess it, it's like it, it's the opposite to the vice of lust. Right. So it's the virtue uh, in comparison. So the opposite of gluttony would be temperance. The opposite of greed is charity, uh -huh. sloth, diligence, wrath, patience, uh, envy, kindness, and pride right. and humility. I'm just, uh, you know, pretty much it's just the opposite of seven deadly sins. Yeah. I think all of those sins, and actually all of those sins and all of their opposites. I think it's if you take any any of them to the extreme, yes. that's when it's a problem. No, no. But what, I, I, I guess but what it's the I'm idea saying that is, any of them are technically a sin. It's like Jesus. Yeah, fuck. I guess what I'm saying is like I like we were talking. Me and Stamper were talking about this. It's like I don't want to go up to heaven with a bunch of fucking like old people in a waiting room and eat crackers and wine all day. <laughs> yeah. I want to go fucking party with Satan and the demon girls and fucking. Do yeah. drugs off their titties. Yo, those demon they girls live. spread their blood. Do you yeah. want to know? Do you want to know they something? They love it. You know, they do. Okay, so and they envy that. Yeah, yeah. There's that word. So they, they envy yeah. that. So uh, did you know that uh, the demons? So like, yo, there's a room over there. You need to check that shit out, dude. <laughs> Come on, let me let me tell you. There's this. some shit going on in there. <laughs> so listen, your fucking mind. you know, you know that in heaven. And then I'll buy them all drinks and stuff. Everything will be copious. It'll if be great. Yeah, you great. you know, wait, no, copacetic. That's the word. You know that in heaven, none of the sins are allowed. A little fork tail over none yeah. of the no, sins yeah. are allowed the in heaven, right? The angels show up and the show you get so that a fucking means, chastity belt. So it's not like you get to go, yeah, you don't around. get to go up to heaven and drink and fucking party. Let me tell you what fucking heaven is it's playing ping pong and being Can a faggot. So, this, be it. <laughs> so that fucking asses playing ping pong. Booze, beer, that's bitches. So, that's but wait, hell. that means that's hell. That literally that's fun time. No, that literally means that this, if hell is burning for eternity and heaven is sitting around singing om 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 all the way all day long, heaven's that washing means, old people. Fine. Fine. That, that means this, this is, is that means this is, this is it. Right. This is it. This is the only this time that you're gonna be able to drink and fuck and swear and do all and the gonna, sinny things that are so heaven, fun. Let you me can... tell you something, Corey. You're gonna go to heaven and God's gonna come up to you and be like, Hey, what's up, Corey? You did a good job on Earth. Welcome to heaven. You play badminton and you're gonna be like no that's gay exactly and he's gonna be like gay and then bang you <laughs> but did you know guys you off the cloud that there are he's demons put his hand on your forehead his big giant fingertip on your forehead and be like you're banished from heaven forever and you're gonna be like and 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 because <laughs> i fall and plummet <laughs> yeah. and then like satan's like dude you don't know how many He's like, dude, we got bad <laughs> if you want it, you fucking queer. But we also got the room full of the demon girls spreading their butts. It's great. Go over there and look. Um, that is actually... A sin? Uh, sorry, I turned into a demon Jesus, for a second. you sounded like a fucking um, demon. <laughs> did you know that there were, are different demons associated with each deadly sin? Yeah. 
The so, ones if you it was in Dante's Inferno, I think. So like when he went to the, the oh, level yeah, with the God gluttons, War, that was great. it was like people that would like force feed you food and then like tear out your innards and shit. And then there was like the lust ones where they would like fuck your dick off. Or the lust ones like called that. Asmodeus. Is the lust sin, but you know, like Beelzebub. Yeah, that's envy. Fuck your dick off. <laughs> Beelzebub <laughs> is envy. Do you know what I mean? Lucifer like, is the is the demon of pride. Dude, she fucked my dick. No, you off. go. You go I don't heaven, know any of the other you ones. You go to though. heaven, and when you sign over your your life to heaven, the first thing that happens is your dick falls off. Yeah. So your your angel can be androgynous, yeah. and then. You'd like that, Corey. You know, that's actually what angel wings are made out of. Dick skin. Yeah. It just, just, it just <laughs> falls dick into a little chopper. Dick skin and vagina flap skin. That's <laughs> they just it falls right off, and then they peel it as wide as they can. Oh man, could you could you imagine being the guy who has to clean up all the dick skin and fucking vagina skin and stick it into the the man made machinery in heaven? <laughs> Patriarchy in heaven. I guarantee you, they clip coupons in heaven. Yeah. They have they wet read dreams. Your senior discounts. Have wet dreams in their. <laughs> They watch a lot of Wheel of Fortune. They have wet dreams and hide it from God. <laughs> God walks by to inspect all the wet He comes dreams. in, he peeks in the window, he's like, did you have a wet dream? You're like, no, God. I just I'm pissed okay. myself a little bit. He's like, he's like, you don't have a dick. Your wings are made out of your dick. And it's like, like, I was drinking the holy water. You gotta make up some What do you think is the biggest sin you could commit if you got into heaven? Taking dick pictures of God. <laughs> fucking, a <ba> <laughs> fucking, fucking a baby angel. You don't have a dick. <laughs> <laughs> baby angels are cute though. Come on, let's be honest. Yeah, right, right, those big chubby cheeks and little I do this bunch. baby angels like eight thousand years old. I just got here. Come on, man. So hey, I'm, like, I'm like younger than this fucking baby angel, dude. I would be so good at bullshit and God would be like, bro, I just got here. I'm sorry, I'm not used to this whole fucking heaven. I'll be God in this bro. scenario. Okay, go. For I brown nose the fuck out of God. I gotta really? get on his good side so I can yeah. get some brownie If pots. you were to be God, though, you have to accuse him of something. When he changes the rules, when everyone has to come down for the Y2K or whatever, I'm gonna be like, listen, God, listen, uh -huh. I did all that I shit. You know what Y2K fucking... is, Corey? Listen, Y2K, Dude, I would, I would, I would the rapture. Rapture. What? It's the, the Millennium rapture. Bug. Oh. Sorry. The Rapture is what I'm okay. talking about. Okay. I would okay. kiss God's ass so That's hard. That's what I'm saying. I'd rapture like, like, are those I'll be new J's. Yeah, exactly. I'll be God in this scenario. his toga, and then he comes... When you're coming down on the on the fucking like boogie plane to Earth again to like go on the big projector to look at all the sins you guys did, you're like, come on, knock if you, man, I was drunk. I can't, I can't I'd be that. real with God. I'd be like, oh, that's a fucking nice toga. How do you keep it so white? Clorox bleach. And he's like, like no. Where'd you buy that at? He's like, I, I use vanish, it, vanish oxyclean. He's like, I made it. Vanish oxyclean, purer than you. All right, so uh, Stamper, I'll be God in this scenario. Stamper, stop. My this baby? podcast brought to you by Vanish OxyClean for God. Buy some Vanish OxyClean. <laughs> Be whiter than God. Be whiter than God. Because black is for hell. Okay, so, but so uh, basically, <laughs> black is. Stamper, my baby's anuses are larger than usual today. Do you have anything to do with this? Yeah, baby, I fucked him. <laughs> Down to hell with you! Bye! <laughs> That's the end of that. That's it. <laughs> Done. I get to hell. It's over. Satan's like, check it out. There's a lot of baby <laughs> <laughs> No, like, you you should be like, how like, there's too many. Baby! There's so many. <laughs> baby. There's so many. <laughs> there's so many. I heard about them keep the bodies together, so they just have to make them separate. Make the baby ass just a big in. wall of baby ass. Yeah, they're like we we had overtime. Dude, jokes aside, if anything, I would get to hell, and I would have to like I'd have to pull Satan aside and be like, "Listen, dude, I know you like to party. It's a fucking awesome T-shirt, by the way." <laughs> but listen, I, he's got three walls on it, man. I need to fucking relax for a second, and I bet he'd be cool. He'd be like, "All yeah, right, he he's would like, listen." Hey, you know what? You take your time, because guess what? We got eternity. Yeah, we got we got a lot. Of, we got a lot of shit to do. And I'll be like, All right, like, I just need a nap. That's he's true. like, God tells everybody I'm supposed to set you on fire. If anything, he'd be fucking annoying. Like he'd like bang on your door and be like, Dude, we need to fucking party. And you're just like, No, man. <laughs> that's what hell is. Please give me a break. You, do you bring him in. You try to cook him eggs and be like, Calm down. Take like, oh, I like my eggs pickled. Come on, man. Just give me give me two fucking seconds. Just fucking get my oh, brain. Don't together. like these kind of now, eggs. Now, now, do you, does the devil like split every single time there's a new person? Because my I'm imagining. That that if the more people that were there, like let's say back in the beginning, there's only like what, like f a few billion people down in hell. But now there's like, there's like, you know, billions and billions of people in hell at this point. So it's like they either had to hire more people. Yeah. So or Mick, how do they manage that? So Mick, isn't the there's whole no way they hired enough demons to fucking punish that many people? Isn't, right. Isn't the especially at the rate that we're isn't the wallets that like coming out of? Isn't the whole point like below minimum wage is bullshit. unless they're converting the people that go down is like new recruits. Isn't the whole point of Christian or the Christian view of religion? I think it's just the Christian view of religion is that there's going 
going to be a w holy war between um, the angels and the demons eventually. But wouldn't there be way more people that go oh to hell? Oh my god, hell would totally Hell would totally me? fucking dominate, dude. Yeah. Totally dominate. Like, Heaven would go on Twitter and say mean things. No, they hell wouldn't even. Is, They'd be like, oh god, I, I don't want to hurt over. you. Heaven would be like, oh, jeez, is this going to hurt? And Hell would be like, fuck you. They're like ISIS. Those Heaven would be starting fundraisers like, oh, an angel died. We need to fix this. We yeah, yeah. They would raise $3,000. Yeah, on their Kickstarter. Satan would be hell like, hey, we're down. making a new beer. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, shit, dude. Their Kickstarter he's like, fucking, just yeah, he's like, he's like, like demon wet. semen beer. <laughs> demon semen beer. <laughs> and then you're like, this is not very good, but then dude. you see all these girls coming yeah, in. Like, like, I'm fucking yeah. starting butts and <laughs> yeah. pussy for yeah. everyone. <laughs> but, yeah. and the, God's like, the butts and pussy God's for like, everyone hey, foundation. I'm bringing back the VCR! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, fucking Satan would fucking. If there was a Kickstarter, Satan would pay the like entire thing. Like, how out of touch it. heaven is. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're like, they don't even know how to double click a mouse, and Satan's got a fucking iPad. They're he really lost logic. touch with how life is right now. He really lost touch. We gotta. <laughs> <laughs> That's God's favorite thing. He just the VCR. He has all his favorite prize things: the VCR and the cassette player. That's his things he he's got. His, to. Like, yo, oh he's God. got like his bookshelf of tapes. He's listening. And then to like the he's got like the top and like the top four rows are like his normal VHS tapes, and then like the bottom ones is, is the taller one that's got all his Disney <laughs> ones on it because they're the big white ones that don't fit on any other fucking shelf. So I have no problem with God. people who are rock and roll. My best man was is very Christian and I love his family dearly like and listen if there is God that's awesome I've always look they always say that like you know you have to be open to God I am open to the idea open. of it if I am as well and you know what honestly God I never if God knows everything face, though. right but if God knows everything and if God wants my attention he knows how to fucking get yeah, it exactly he knows how to fucking exactly. get it no I'm debates open. I'm open to God, but I need evidence. Yeah, and they yeah, say like, but that's not faith. That's yeah, that's not faith. Discussion. But like, if he just comes out and just goes peekaboo and just leaves, like for like one second, then you'd be like, oh. I won't think that's God. Let me I tell you something. Exactly. I, I'll that's think faith. I just had a I don't quick think, hallucination. I, I could never believe in a God or trust a God or or respect a God even that wanted blind faith out of out of his creations. I would I would believe. That if I created something, I would have to earn that respect. And they're like, well, they made you. Well, I don't know that. But I'm saying that if you can earn my respect and then – or if you can try to do something to earn someone's respect and they still but turn how, you down and they still, you know, put Mick, their nose up at you, fuck them. But – How about look. this, Mick? You're only allowed to go to heaven if you praise me. If you go down on your knees every day and go, I, you're great. I'm great. Like, why would you want to worship a god that wants you to, like, actually, like, go down on your knees and be like, God, I love you? Like, yeah. what? Like, seriously. Like, that is – You know what? You know what that is? I that's pride. pride. That is that's pride. pride. Oh, my God. That's you just, fucking you just, vanity. You debunked religion. Right that there. That's a fucking something. deadly sin. <laughs> Mick just debunked religion. Let me tell you something. Life you know why folks. they do that? Because they, they want their fucking pretty house on the, the side of the ocean. Like their fucking, like, their nice two story house with their fucking perfect wife and all this shit. They want this perfect. Because, you know, when you go to heaven, you get fence. everything you want. You get the one thing you always wanted. Which. What if you want is titties greed. and beer? Corey, Which is greed. Corey, it's. Yeah, it's so beautiful how you were just like, your ideal life is a two-story house with like a yeah, nice no, 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 <laughs> You're so humble No, no, perfect. it's just like that's what people want. They want their perfect ideal world living in the, that's what I, I want to live in the Bahamas. That'd be fucking amazing. Do you even, like, but like, that's what they want. But you know what that is? That's greed. Because you want that. Yeah. You don't want to get You're doing all this good exactly. stuff so you can have material or exactly. you can have the things that make Isn't you it, feel so good. This, it's all warped. It's all, it's a fucking fascinating. But you can spin it. I remember talking to people about friendship too. The most now. generous, amazing people I have ever met in my life aren't religious. I'll yeah. say that much. Well, that's true. Don't give a shit. They're human beings. Tell you guys that's what we're doing. Don't kill your neighbor. Yeah. There you go. Surprise! Yeah, it's pretty fucking simple. Do you want to talk it? about when we stop like being religious, all of us? No, from... are you okay? No, I was burping while talking, so oh, I looked like uh, I was. All right, I guess for me, like a drunk hobo. Yeah. You're like, do you want to talk? Don't bring the hobo uh, thing back. Come on, I'm working hard not to look like a. hobo You don't look anymore. like now a hobo. Now you look like a much. fucking I'm samurai. Stopped, I stopped looking like a hobo. You look like a samurai in the making. You have You look like a Kurt Cobain fan. Fan. She's a knockoff. Like what the fuck? 
fuck was that? You're a Rocket Cola version, <laughs> and you're a handsome guy. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Ow, my heart! I, I, I think you're, I think you're a very handsome guy. All I right, th I think you'd be a catch for a lady, truthfully. Yeah, uh, thanks, right. Stamper. But can I just tell one story relating to that? You absolutely can. So uh, this can is, I hold uh, this is your stick. Oh my. Well, that's great. Dude, so put this that is, in your pants, dude. This is off topic, but um, me, Zach, um, Chris, and Corey went to John's house, um, JonTron, and we went to the Nintendo store one day in, in Rockefeller Center. The Nintendo store? Yeah, but it was closed, but- Elaborate. A but a fan came up to, to uh, JonTron, and uh, was like, are you JonTron? And John was like, yeah, you know, he's doing the whole thing. He was like, yeah, 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 yeah. They got a picture and all that stuff. And then John, go John goes, uh, this guy here is Brad Pitt. Just to me, he pointed at me, and then the guy just goes, Well, you're not looking very good. And walk, just walks away. <laughs> like, I know I'm not Brad fucking Pitt, but come on, let's be honest. Like, don't, don't hurt my feelings like that. I was hoping one day maybe. You get plenty of fucking attention from people. <laughs> you're that, would, that hurt my feelings just a little bit. Like, I know I'm not Brad Pitt, but at the same time, the fact Dude, that- Dude, I had a whole group of people say that I looked like I was a product of radioactive exposure, <laughs> All right? You how do you feel about that? Funny. Niall, that was your story, really? <laughs> Don't do that. I got made fun of. It's happened. almost like that story Nickelodeon. came right out of Ireland. Uh, wait, what was that? What was that, Nick? What, what are you guys trying to say right here? <laughs> that was an Irish story. Oh, you got fucked. You need like a. You need an intentional thing to, to you put on yourself. Line. So you need a joke. Somebody you should. You should have been like like you. What you expected him to be is like when you said Brad Pitt. Then you could have been like, well, you look like a fucking no. Nope. You, I would say if he was like, yeah, well, you're not looking really good. And he's like, yeah, I miss Jennifer. No, <laughs> next time that no, happens. But that's not <laughs> actually what happened, though. You say, I'm uh, not that sharp. You say, nah, I look like Brad shit. And then you grab him <laughs> and kiss him on the mouth. And then you send him away. <laughs> but this guy, <laughs> this guy, what's a handsome black guy? Uh, Denzel Washington. This guy was no Denzel Washington himself. You know? You know? So why is he coming over to me and saying, I'm not fucking Brad? I don't know. I know you I'm have to Brad. be self-deprecating. Well, that may be true. We were talking about that before, dude. Life is always going to be weird. If you put everything out there, all your flaws, out into the world, there's nothing anyone can say that can hurt you. Because you've already put it all out there. If they, if they call you out on something, if they make fun of you, guess what? <laughs> you've already said it a hundred times, and everybody already knows. But I thought about this. If You're Brad Pitt... Bulletproof. 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 If Brad Pitt is a 10, he's the standard of good male good looking. Let me tell you something. Brad Pitt is like a fucking 6 now. He's like 90 years old. Dude, he's 50, and he's still a fucking 9.85. No, well, I'm not jerking off to Brad Pitt every night, alright? you're not gay. But, like, the thing is, Brad Pitt, if, he's, if he's the standard who is, um... As far as he knows. <laughs> he, he, okay, so he's known as like the male Adonis of this year. Like he's like the male, more like Hugh Jackman. High five, anyone? Uh, I'm Wait, not, what? Let, let's What's not wrong? get let's not get into semantics here. But basically, who cares about Hugh Jackman? So basically, being, he's the male Adonis. No, I thought Matthew McConaughey. Being good looking these days is how close you oh, resemble Brad Pitt. <laughs> no, you just asked me when did you guys stop doing religion, and then you were like. <laughs> You were like, oh, I got made fun of at Nintendo Store. I, 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 I'll <laughs> get and now we're that. talking about fucking dudes. I'll get back to that. <laughs> but if if Brad Pitt is the like a uh, standard, yeah, that Flabby have... Pitt, go on. <laughs> Is the standard that you have to live up to? Yeah, Brad shit. Yeah. Uh, Alright, let me just finish my talk and get back, right? Bad shit. So if he's the standard that you have to live up to these days, like, so, you're obviously never going to look exactly like Brad Pitt. You're not going to look as much as he, as, like him. As he as does? He does. Okay. So you're not going to look, you're, so if he's the, like, 10, you're not, you're obviously going to be under that. If he's, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm kind of drunk, guys. I look like John Oliver. Yeah, you do. You do. But you're you you're cuter on the than John side. Oliver. Yeah, yeah you are cuter. But anyway, so when did we start losing our religion? I was uh, when stop. I Let me tell you something. <laughs> you're the one who told him to go back to it. I know, but I guarantee that Brad Pitt has never made a lady laugh before. Yeah, Brad Pitt. What? Just, that's not true. No, that's no. a terrible. Dude, bet. he's the kind of guy who's like hilarious and has a huge dick, and there's just nothing you can do about it. Are you I, I he actually, made, there's a quote. From I don't Brad think he's hilarious, but I think he's definitely made a girl laugh. I'm pretty sure he's got. Name a one comedy flags. movie that Brad Pitt has ever been in. There's three guys sitting here. Name one. I don't even know. Um, Brad Pitt. Uh, Burn right. after reading. Oh. Um, that movie sucked. Though. What's the one where he was a stoner? Uh, the, uh, that's not a comedy movie. True Romance. Yeah, that's not a comedy. Movie. Exactly. It's but a he great was a, movie. He was a name one that's not like an obscure fucking black comedy. Name one where he's been funny. Mr. 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 You're lowering. You're lowering the categories. You're like fucking changing the variables. No, but however, like you know what? Fuck that it. motherfucker is old. <laughs> 
and useless. I agree. He's Flabby beautiful. Pitt. That was my retort. <laughs> Flabby Pitt. Yeah, I'm sure that would hurt yeah. his feelings, and he'd go home and be like, David oh God, Beckham, that guy called- David Beckham has like the personality of a fucking cardboard. I'm yeah. so yeah. sorry, like, okay, Brad Pitt is a but fan that of guy, <laughs> but that guy has what if he's plenty like the biggest of fucking. Fan of his- Nick, it's not mutually Brad exclusive Pitt was the though. Fan. It's not mutually exclusive. I think Brad Pitt could be funny, but like he actually is quoted on saying, um, "I'm the kind of guy that everybody else hates because my genetics are so good," or something like that. He's like, he was, just, I was just born with like the best genetics possible. Sorry. Sorry. That's fucking hilarious. Move on back to religion. So when I lost my religion, it was when I was like 16 or 17, I started watching like YouTube videos because I actually, I wanted to believe in God. I was, because I was, I didn't know what Pascal. Then you read a comment section and then that was I didn't know what, I I didn't know what Pascal. Fuck God is dead. I didn't know what Pascal's wager was when I was that age. And Pascal's wager is basically like, all right, so there's two scenarios. God exists and God doesn't exist. If, If you believe that God exists, you're going to heaven. If you believe that God doesn't exist, you're not going to heaven. If heaven doesn't exist, that's fine. If you believe God ex- exists, you're happy. You'll n- you'll just rot for eternity. But like, basically, it's like a two out of three. Uh, most scenarios, it wins because you might. You, if you just believe in God, you'll go to heaven. If it doesn't exist, then you won't notice because you'd be dead. So that's Pascal's wager. So I kind of fell for that, and I was looking at religious videos to believe in it. But the more religious videos to I watched, believe in it to make yeah. sure you were right. Yeah. So the more religious videos I watched, the more holes I found in it, and the more like I found out how stupid it was, and that, that's just how I stopped believing in it. I, I never gave it much thought until then. So it was. I don't even I think. Thinking well, for me, Look, I like how like no, no, technology yeah, yeah. was introduced into your world, and you're saying. And like, it. <laughs> looking at like it's like I need to pull up religious videos <laughs> to reinforce our, your yeah. beliefs. <laughs> me, I, but I didn't know much. Yeah, but for me, like you asked me, but for me, it was back when I was questioning like the Disney the fucking fantasy stories I heard. Like mm-hmm. I, yeah, I told you, like fucking. How is some dude gonna get of Egypt? How is no? He means the Disney fantasy story. Yeah, like Moses splitting the fucking oh, okay. sea, and some dude making a boat for a flood that fucking put every one animal on the fucking boat. Yeah, or every kind of animal. Yeah, not to mention that the only human survivors of that would have been some old man and his three daughters. Exactly. Oh, like shit. to me, no, no one really talks to about me, that. To me, that just seems, yeah, we don't, we, we don't, you know, we don't yeah, bring that listen, up. Anymore. All right, you don't have to be like um. A fucking genius to know that if you put a lion with a chicken in the same room or on the same boat, or even a lion and some other small animal, the lion is gonna fucking kill the animal. Completely pointless. They, I mean, like they try to you, like you throw read into that story. story. No, it's just like common sense. Like here's what like, I want to know with Noah's Ark: What were they feeding the lions? Exactly. No, they said they had food, wheat. Lions, eat lions don't eat wheat. <laughs> <laughs> They had to kill off some. That's the name of the podcast. Lions don't eat wheat. (laughs) That's why they brought fucking like eight fucking things of chickens because they were gonna have to feed them. God, God gave. Yeah, they doubled up on the chickens and the lambs because they were gonna have to feed those. God, God gave the chickens passaways and said, if they have babies, feed them to the lions and other smaller animals because it's a dog eat dog world. Got it. And God understands. It was its own ecosystem. That's what I was saying. It's like people are looking at this now and they're saying, you know what? I know those are ridiculous but they are guidelines they just feel yeah, they're yeah, guidelines yeah. but it's like also like those creationists who but it's be- nonsense it's complete not it's yeah, it's, yeah. Cl- it's clearly obviously no, nonsense but it's like the people who believe that the grand canyon was created from noah's ark and it's like the grand no? canyon was when i walked to my grandma's house and dragged my pee pee on the ground <laughs> Nigga. where's the canyon? Yeah, where, where, where's the canyon there come on but in contrast to where like moses was it's not even in the same fucking area yeah so it's like, how the fuck did how did he make this boat and then pick it up and lift and it? Didn't they flood a few the planet? million yards? Yeah, the whole it was supposed to be the whole planet, I think. Yeah, it wasn't like Evan Almighty where they flooded downtown New York and the rest of the world was cool. Yeah, <laughs> that was fucking terrible. <laughs> it was totally fucking the terrible. Fuck came and it was just like a giant tidal wave. All these panda bears the came from fucking China, jumped on a boat, traveled a block, got off, and then went home. Evan Almighty was actually the first movie I've ever walked out of. Uh, before it finished, like, me? In, in theaters. That's too bad. I never even I like saw Steve it. Carell, though. He's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, he, he got a big fat Never mind what he does for money. He but... got a big fat paycheck. I mean, I never, I never, like I said, I never had religion, like, really in my life, at least not that I knew about. It was never imposed in my life. This is the religious podcast. I remember not long ago, we were at a bar thinking, okay, we'll touch on religion, and then we'll talk about potato chips. Oh, yeah. No, we'll get to the potato chips. We still got some time. And then now was like, oh, you meant potato chips. I thought you were talking about chips chips, because in Irish. Ireland, they called the fries, fries chips. chips. Also made of potatoes. Also made of potatoes. Which is an Irish uh, emblem. That's fair. Is it? 
The potato? Man, it's not, you it's guys not are fucking man. pathetic, man. That's all you we're, have. We're, what are you talking we're about? They make whiskey potato and they got Guinness. Uh, that was unfair. Cut all that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much you. I'm so fucking sorry. Your just, blood is made Ireland. of that shit. I'm sorry. I'm also, sorry. Even Niall. if you had no Irish heritage, now your blood is Irish. Please. Ireland, please forgive me. I love you so much. Um, I was gonna say that, uh, but as I got older, I mean, I was always kind of like looking for God a little bit. Not looking, but I was always very open to yeah. it. I ended up so in like, weird Christian youth groups, even though I wasn't Christian. All sorts of weird ass shit. Human beings search for yeah, but you're, you're, purpose like, that's, and reason. That's, just, yeah. that's natural. Exactly. When you're younger, yeah. you look for whatever. So you... now I've just kind of like, I've, I've settled into the idea that I don't believe in God. I'm not saying there is no God. There's just nothing that's made me believe and that. And that's, that's a stance that a lot of people take. I take the right. exact same and stance. And that I would just rather lay back on my on my uh, Buddhist roots. And that's pretty much what like, I... Buddha, mean, Buddhists are harmless. It's what Pam, right, and it's not even a religion more than it is just a set just, of values. Yeah, it's, and, and they're good values, too. It's but, what, hold on. It's what Stamper said. Um, Stamper said people just want to find... Like, like value, or, or like they want to find purpose. So they want to find the reasons for things that happen. Like you see these stories of people like, oh, I had a near-death experience where I saw a white light and all this stuff. But it's been proven that the same experience can be held in like those things where people go in space shuttles and go around really yeah. fast. And they have the same can experience. I exp can I expand they, on hold that? Hold on, hold on. And they both see like the same thing. And it's like you put two and two together and then you start questioning all these other things. Like you start questioning like spirits and stuff and you're like, so you wonder why these people who go around with these little electric boxes to like outlets that get like huge like lighting things or they see like lightings and stuff it's like it could be so much other things because I would love I would love to see a ghost honestly people say too. like would you be scared would no too. because then I would know that there was yeah. more I than would this too. I'd I be like oh my fucking god I, I have never I fucking seen it I would be amped I would be amped it seems like oh, it seems like everybody growing up in my life has seen and, and felt no and, they say they do but, no but they say they say they do but me the fucking yeah, I experience I've had stories are very noises and seeing shadows, but I have never I'm, seen a ghost. I want to say one thing, and then I'm going to let Niall okay. talk. When I was, again, back to what Mick was saying about fucking brainwashing, when I was in the second or third grade, a, a teacher from a neighboring uh, classroom, she, like, borderline died, uh -huh. right? So she came in to talk to all of us. She stood up in front of the class and told everybody about how she, she was about to die, and she saw she went to heaven, and she saw all these pink clouds, and and life was great. And then she sat and talked to us about the afterlife and how heaven is waiting for us, and it's great. This is in public school. Yeah, see, yeah, that's not dude. fact. She sat there and she <laughs> fucking told us that. And I think back to that, and I'm like, are you? That's because when you die, Stamper, um, what you call it? Uh, like, a grant, yeah, granted, I understand that. It, I'm not gonna write off anything that she saw. No, but at the same time, that that always, you to should. come to fucking a class and say that the heaven exists and that we're, that always and then you should. And I'll, I'll tell you why. That always made me mad because it's like a teacher coming back. Oh, you get all the fucking ice cream you want. It's the best. You all should think about hanging yourself. But we all respected her because she was like 96 years old, and we all sat and looked up at her, and we were like, she was a wise yeah. person. Like, so, yeah, this is a fucking she. This is it. It's like, not a it, fact. This is proof. You it can't take that. This is proof. Yeah. You can't. This is proof. shit that, that drags behind you for the next fucking 10 years of your life before you write it off. You can't take that as proof though, because when you die, it's uh, like it's been proven that like your your brain and your pineal gland in your brain, which also is known as your third eye, releases this chemical. <laughs> pineal. Call, call, third eye. Called <laughs> dimethyltryptamine. Which is a chemical that is the same chemical that's, that that releases when you dream. So dimethyl and it, do drugs. Yeah, uh, there's a drug called psychedelics. D yeah, there's a psychedelic called DMT which you can smoke, or you can do this other version of it called ayahuasca, which lasts longer. I don't know, something about that. But dimethyltryptamine uh, releases from your pineal gland, and pretty much it's, it, it has the same effect in dreams, and it's to, it stops the trauma of death. So like, th so you're pretty much dreaming as you die, and like when you're dying, you think of heaven because that's what, like what else are you thinking of? You're like, I hope I go to heaven. So like, you're gonna dream of heaven like that's that's what happens that's what people think listen that makes sense life is wrong maybe makes sense <laughs> Stamper. it's probably more right than the alternative life is well, like i'm just i'm so used to getting corrected by people in youtube comments. Stamper. let them let them life is like a hurricane <laughs> here in duckburg oh god you're gonna start singing the ducktales theme now <laughs> 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 We're waiting for it. 
<laughs> Why didn't you wait out your stop. trombone? Stop. Wait, that was the DuckTales thing, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. <laughs> like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Sing with authority, asshole. Something. Come on. Da, 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 da. Come on. Here in Duckburg. What's the... You thing? don't know the words. No. All you know is Duckburg. <laughs> Duckburg. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Might solve a mystery <laughs> or rewrite history. Yes. Ducktales, woo! Bump, bop, it up. <laughs> exactly. Now do the Darkwing Duck theme song. Darkwing, Darkwing Duck. Duck. Let's get dangerous. <laughs> Darkwing Duck. When the trouble you call DW. <laughs> Darkwing Duck. All right, Tailspin. Uh, wait, no, hold on. Like, do, 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 yeah. Yeah. I like Tailspin, the cartoon dude. What was her name? Kit? Was that her name? The girl? No, Kit was Kit Cloud Kicker was the kid. Oh, that, like, whoops! Used never fucking, mind. <laughs> I think you're thinking about uh, uh, Rescue Rangers. No, with fucking oh, gadgets. gadgets. No, oh, Rescue no, Rangers. No, but Tailspin dude. had a girl too. Gadgets. What about fucking hot? She yeah, was. She was. <sighs> Get, take that you want you want to do Inspector Gadget? Yeah. I'm gonna wrap that bitch in duct tape and she had a, shit she had a, so she doesn't dude, pop. She, you know she, what I'm saying? She had some fine little mice titties and a butt. I know. Uh, and then she's like working on her little tiny little fucking race car. She and definitely she's like, had a butt. <laughs> the, the fucking chipmunk. And she was psyched just to do her own work. And you know she wanted to fuck on the side too. Yeah, but she, she was busy working. Work. She was. She was kind of like, guys, get off me. I got work to do. Whatever. She was a strong, independent woman. At no, the time. she was. And then at the end of the day, she, she, was, she wants to go home and just let a man take control. Pee all over her. <laughs> she just wants to let loose because she had such a stressful day. She wants somebody else to give her orders. I could see that. I could see that now. <laughs> That's what you did Life wrong. is... <laughs> it was great. It was a great night of jerking off. Stamper, can you paint my nails? You want Stamper to paint your nails? Look at the hack job he did on himself. That was a horrible job. That's pretty good from here, though. Yeah, from there. Yeah, take a look over here. You painted his fucking ear. No, oh, you're fucking... You and your eyes. You're like a Highlander. You're beautiful. It's great. Yeah, no, it, like, I, I, I think I do have decent eyes, but right under my eyes are big, dirty eye bags that ruin him. No. He's gonna, he's gonna bang his nobody, contacts out one day, and we're gonna know his secret. Yeah, dude, nobody, nobody ever said that about Benicio Del Toro. Oh yeah, I, all the girls are all up in his shit, and they weren't like, look at those yeah, big but he's saggy been, bags. He's Benicio guys. del Toro, though. I'm Nile. Yeah, he looks again. like You're fucking the... shepherd's pie. If you look at his <laughs> face, he's a fucking mess, dude. <laughs> they don't see that. I always thought he looked like a like a human version of like Frankenstein or some shit. Just did like we get off the ghoulish look in his eyes? Religion? Did was that over? When did you lose religion? Huh? Remember when Duck Jesus? When came did you to lose religion? I casually lost it. You just That's lost what I'm it. Saying. You had a hole in your saying. pocket and just little grains. Of oh, you're one of those corner. guys who was so cynical that you're like, ah, yeah. Over time, I'm sick and fucking tired of people calling me cynical. I'm the most positive guy ever. No, you're not cynical, but you're one of those guys who was like, <laughs> uh, just shit happened to you that you were like. God could not possibly exist. You didn't. You didn't think of it like you didn't like do the research. Like, not Here's that, how I lost. Not religion. that it's a bad thing. It's Here's how I lost religion. One day I was like, oh, you know what? You thank God for everything that you did. I went through the hardest shit ever, and I did it by myself. He didn't do fucking yeah, shit. Yeah, exactly. I, 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 didn't I, mean like, I didn't even mean you're cynical right. in a Jeff sense of cynical. I meant yeah, you're cynical pretty, in the fact that, like... You can't say that on this podcast because he's part of the podcast. He, he knows he's cynical, though. Yeah, he is a cynical piece of shit. He's he like, knows he's <laughs> cynical. <laughs> I, that, that's his shtick, though. You can't, you can't like, deny your shtick. Yeah. My shtick is being a dumb like Irish you, guy. You, you My sit. shtick is eight inches long, but <laughs> <laughs> You sit and you eat, oh, thank, no, thank you, God, for all this yeah, food. It's like, I worked so fucking hard for this food. Fuck you, God. You gotta pay your Jesus tax. Fuck you. You gotta, you gotta pay, pay, your, Jesus you gotta pay your Jesus tax. Yeah. On the bread rolls and the, <laughs> the ham that you fucking planned for for two weeks. That's what it is. When you go to church and appease your sins, you're paying all your taxes back for all the bad you've done. You're like, oh, God. Holy fuck, I haven't paid my Jesus tax in like 14 years. All right, so hold on. Let me see Whoops, this. sorry. I jacked <laughs> off in a sock. <laughs> Hold on. So, Sorry, God. So, hold, Stamper. Like, he doesn't jack off in giant God socks. Stamper. He doesn't. If, <laughs> this goes for everyone, but Fuck if, you. if God. That's where my cum goes. Dude, if God jack did exist, off, no, he did exist, sock. and he fucking came down, and he showed his face, and it looked like 
Mufasa's head in the fucking clouds, and it was very- we all saw it, and he was like, guys, listen, I just wanted to clear some shit up. I do exist. Uh, alright, I'll see you later. Actually, does this part of Ireland- I No, 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 if he said- No, 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 if he said this- No, more specifically, if he came down and he said, guys, what? I did this, he, not only did That's he come down- cum goes! Not only did he come down from the sky, or in the clouds, he formed his big face in the clouds like Mufasa, and he said, Humans of Earth. I am God. Listen, I'm sorry I was away. I was a little busy. Uh, I wasn't checking my messages. Apparently a lot's been happening while I was gone. Listen, the Bible is all true. No matter how weird it sounds, I was involved. Yes, this he's, he's big like just, just face in the clouds. This is clearly impossible. Well, guess what? Noah's Ark, Moses, it's all true. That's a good God voice. And then he said, if you all want to get into heaven, just follow the book He's like, and listen to the church. I'll see you guys. But if he said something like, yeah, it's like you're a little late, dude. No, no, wait. Now he said that, <laughs> like, right? Super late. He, would you? Would you then go to church? And only, do all the shit? only if he said like, I know, I know it sounds fucked up in the Bible, but listen, I, I have my reasons. It, 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 it sounds fucked up, but seriously, just, just, just come on, man, just believe, right? And you'll know what I mean. I said, end. man, I can't even pass my fucking driving test. You think I'm gonna read your fucking Bible to get all the shit right? You, you would say shit. that. To God, yeah. If God really appeared and was actually yeah. real, jokes, and then and then Satan's fucking strings that were controlling me in my mouth, uh, yeah, uh, exactly. Jokes That's aside, I'd say. be like, listen, dude. Uh, is, I mean, maybe yeah, after no, I seriously. pay my rent. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, seriously. seriously, I would be like, I'd be like, listen, I I cannot I cannot fucking read this book. It's like it's you know like. You know, maybe I'll take Zach's advice and read a book 30 minutes before I go to bed, but you're gonna have to understand this needs to expand a little bit. I can't tell time, I gotta set mini goals. It's like, okay, so. You know what, truthfully, I'd be like, you know what, faggot? <laughs> I, would, I would love to sit on high and judge people all day. It would be so much fun. Maybe you should stop being so much fucking cheese. Maybe you should fucking do this. It'd yeah. be great. And you know what? I'd I would like, love to I'm, do no, that. What if he goes, what, like what, what if he said, what if he said, I'm although, so fucking sorry you're sitting on clouds and life is perfect for you right What if now? he goes, yo, 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 like, like all those fucking African children, we kind of need them. That's why we're making them starve and we need like as many African children as possible. I won't. He's like, we fucking need these African children, man. You, you'll know when you, you'll know when you get there, okay? Just, just trust me. What would you say? <laughs> I don't know that. I like how God's having a heart with heart with only you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's trying to like. He's really fucking... trying to justify himself. Yeah, he's like, come on, Stan. He's like, hey, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get all the clouds. I'm gonna come into human form. I'm gonna make your fucking mouth. Stan, I'm giving you all I got, Stan. What if he didn't come out of the clouds though and he was like, uh, he was like four foot three and he was like kind of a midget and he was like, hey guys, I, I'm God. Um, <laughs> I, I, I just really want to tell- look, look, I'm doing magic here, I'm putting fire in my hand. And he just put fire in his hand, he's like, yeah, okay, so anyway, and he's looking up at you, and he's like, and Jesus, so fucking- And Jesus is like, way bigger, and he's like, Dad, oh my Dad, god. you're embarrassing me! <laughs> and, and he's like, he's like, Dad, you- give what me if, back my roller skates, What if Dad? Jesus comes down, and just like- Just roller skate. There's one beer left, who wants you know, to split no, it with fine. I would just- I, I don't want to- I, Anytime I, I hear about, like, Jesus coming down, I'd only want him to come down like Thor comes down. No, like, no, he'd no, come no, down no. like a comet, no, no. hit the pavement, and there's like a fucking crater left by him, but he's just wearing his, like, nice little robes, but he no. clearly has, like, the density of, like, Nick. fucking star. So after God does the speech, Jesus comes, and he's, like, carrying a bunch of papers from heaven, and he's, like, you know, running down, yeah. and he's giving out people, and they're like, what is this? He's like, oh, my son, he wrote a new book. Uh, I need you guys also to read this. He, and tell me what you think, because he's kind of a little nervous some about writing again. <laughs> yeah, give you know, some Most criticism. people just want him to sign it. <laughs> yeah, do it. Like a convention. But, but the Bible is actually... I'd be like, yo, where were you during 9 11, you remember that? That was pretty fucking bad. It's tempered, like the Bible has actually been written. I, by actually, I was I, writing. I was. I was writing my book. Yeah. I was actually more concerned where Spider Man was when that <laughs> shit happened. <laughs> Actually, that's true. I would be too. I'd be like, "Come save me!" Sp I'd be like, "Fucking Spider-Man, please!" <laughs> yeah, when electric. What happened? The street. You know, th there. All you had to do was throw webs up between the twin towers. We're and just talking catch about planes. Um, boy, oh, 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 you, guys, are, back you guys are talking about how you you know you think most <laughs> of the population no. is religious. Most of the population. Okay, but we've seen plenty of I, I've seen plenty of videos where like people don't even know like if they show a picture of Jesus next to a picture of like fucking Spider-Man, they'll point out Spider-Man. 100% of the time, and like 70% or 60% of the time, they can figure out who Jesus is. Yeah, that's uh, that's co that's confirmation bias, though. That's more like people watching those videos. That's world so bias. It's like, every, what was- I'm just saying, kids today, kids today, no, yeah, 10 yeah. years old and younger, 
Do you think they believe that Spider-Man is more real than Jesus? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. They relate more. This and is, also, no, this this is where it's relatability. This is where the world is going. What, what was that recent thing that they just released where it was like the McDonald's logo is more recognizable oh, than the cross? Yeah. yeah, yeah sure. And Stamper, this, this actually is, a, really? this comes up to a topical event because recently uh, Zayn left One Direction. And a lot of his fucking fans cut for Zane. Cut for Zane. Cut for Zane right they all, now. They all cut for Zane. They they cut their wrists because this dude left One Direction, and a um, fucking band that's not gonna exist in six months. It's gonna be done and over with. Th th it's a blood sacrifice, is what they're doing. It's a th they're more. That's because Zane is more recognizable to the fucking young population. Yeah, Jesus. Then Jesus band fucking is more valid. And more I'm not saying. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. No, you know Jesus is looking down, relatable. just like yeah. shaking his head, like. He's yeah. just so jealous that, that yeah, so many like, people oh. are willing to cut themselves for some fucking kid that nobody fucking cares but about. But he shouldn't five be years. because he it's shouldn't. all in his image. It's one direction to God. To yeah, heaven. but I thought that was very interesting when I saw. Like, like I know it was very sad that these fucking kids are cutting themselves, but like it, it is actually the same thing as like people sacrificing Teenagers themselves for are Jesus. Fucking stupid. It's fine. It's, I know, but <laughs> but no, but it's like the human mentality is what it, like the horde mentality of like. Uh, just trusting in someone so much or believing in someone so much that like who the fuck came up with the out. idea to cut themselves because of it and started but this shit train but that's that my a whole bunch of fucking little girls jumped on to fucking get attention on Twitter. But, who the fuck started but Mick, it? That's my Whoever point. that is, they should have really cut for Zane and just fucking cut their own head off. But Mick, that's that is <laughs> fucking stupid. But Mick, they that's my point though. This shit has been going pain. on for eternity. It's part in it's in the human psyche to do that shit. You know what I mean? Like, people hurts. fucking sh kill sheep for what fucking God. Do? Why would God want a fucking sheep? What would you do if you got, like, so popular? You were, you were like, the, the, the sleepy cast Zane. Oh, God. And then you, you were like, you know what? I'm gonna fucking move to New York. I'm done with this shit. And everyone was like, cut for Nile. Are you, are you? I would make a video. I would absolutely make a video, make a public appearance, and I'd be like, y you know what? Any of you, if any of you cut yourself because of this, you were never a true fan. Yeah, no, I'd do that. I'd you make a video and be like, dude, I fucking stop. I, I do not respect any of you. You know what, truthfully, that motherfucker should do that. He, he should, should spend two seconds on Vine and be like, stop. Yeah, that's it. Stop. That's not it. even two that's seconds. All you had to say. Half a second. Just stop. Like, stop. One word. One word on Twitter. Stop. Just, just stop. And just put the hashtag cover in. Just stop. Stop, thumbs up. Yeah. Stop. Baby, yeah. you'd light up my world like nobody else. You ain't gonna be in danger, boss. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you don't know you're beautiful. I'm, not, I'm skipping that shit. No, you're not. That should be. That no, should no. have been the closing right there. You know, That's a hot song, though. I'm not it gonna is. lie. It's I'm not gonna always, lie. It's, it's always the go-to song. It's like that song. No matter if a song gets caught in my head, if I'm just doing something, it doesn't even matter if I'm jerking off. That was on purpose, time. though. They think change it. It's just like suddenly I hear like. Yeah, but Corey. Corey, they Shut got the up. fuck up. They got Let the me form, tell you something. They got the formula for catching is down. Like they that, knew that was catchy. That song is going one direction. <laughs> to my playlist. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 I don't even know that song, and I'm happy I do. Oh, oh, I bet he does. I don't. I bet you he does. don't know you're beautiful. Nope, I don't. Girl. You're insecure. <laughs> you're beautiful. I know. I know obscure it SoundCloud. It doesn't even matter. You're so fucking French beautiful. artists. Uh, uh, uh. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking video game music. And video game music. We talked about religion for an hour and 42 minutes. And One Direction for about one and a half minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, um, we, we can't stop. We, I, I, I actually don't think there's a whole lot to cut out, which is kind of good. Yeah, I, I, but I still want to keep going, though. No, unless sorry. you don't you want to. go. No, we're good. So we... Unless you don't want to. No, so wait, 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 guys, guys. There's no rule yeah. that it has to be God, like no, a fucking hour and 20 fucking minutes. Head. Don't you know, think about it. Leave. That was just the standard. Like, we, you, so listen, we've we go. covered... So guys, so going directly from just uh, this is also this is a little off topic, but it's related. Um, potato chips. Yeah. Uh, what about them? Where do they come from? What do they taste like? They come from potatoes, uh, which are f they're cut really, really firmly, and they're <laughs> fried. You know that one. Shit. They're <laughs> That's fried. That's a short conversation. <laughs> they're, they're fried, uh, Mick. And, What's your favorite potato chip? And seasoned. Did you ever get a potato chip right, and you'd be eating it, and it's fucking like green, and you just don't know what to do? Yeah, with but it? that 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 that's like when you've never gotten a green. No, no, they, have they, I have. I, yeah. No, no, no. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, is that like the potato really ripe potato chip? Yeah, you're yeah. terrified of it. Like you think your whole batch of potato chips is fucking ruined. The first time I got a green potato chip. That's because you I play video games when you're a kid and you think it's the poison chip. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I told my mom, because I was like spitting it out of my hand and crying, and I'm like, Poison! <laughs> and she she told me it's just like, it's just, it wasn't, you know, like the light didn't hit it. What's the, what's the Listen, 
What's your favorite potato chip? <laughs> that was my question. My favorite? Here's something that I don't get. I okay. like sour cream cheddar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, sour cream. That's number one for me. Sour number cream one. cheddar rips up my tongue. And you know what? I really like uh, salt and vinegar chips, and everyone else is a fucking I love bitch them. about it. I, I, think, I think it's okay, but I can't eat a lot because then it starts like tasting it can, like it can't start to eat a hole in your mouth. Yeah, no, it burn. It does burn it's the sides like, of your mouth. It, it Let me like, tell you something. That's a man chip, all right? Mm -hmm. You know what? You, you, you guys ever had a kettle chips? Beer and pussy chips is a man chip. Beer. Dude, I love beer and pussy chips. Wait, Have you guys ever had fuck kettle? yeah? I have an idea. Beer and I've pussy I've no <laughs> kettle chips. They're jalapeno flavor kettle chips because those are the hard ones. They're like really super crispy. They're fucking great, and, and the jalapeno ones they have are super salty. Kettle chips are fucking amazing. I love kettle chips. Lightly yeah. salty kettle chips? Ugh. Those alone, yeah. It's salt and vinegar chips. A lot of people don't like them because they hate vinegar. And it's like, oh, we'll fucking get over it. You're a grown man. You, I don't like you know vinegar. what? Vinegar is in like so many fucking things we vinegar eat. Vinegar is in everything we eat. I'm it's not like a big people that say they fucking hate onions. Guys, this made me actually think of something. I'm not uh, a fan of dill chips. Look, look. Put salt and vinegar chips on a sandwich, mash it down. Put any chips on a sandwich. This made me think of a really Go to good... Jimmy John's, mash a fucking bag of chips in your shit and eat it. It'd be the best day of your life. This made me think of a really good potential sponsor. Uh, does this, does this service- Jimmy John's? No, does this service called Gold- Salt and vinegar Wait, potato can I chips say something? by Lay's. Wait, can I, can I say this real quick though? Okay. Uh, does this Beer and pussy chips. Does this service, <laughs> does this, <laughs> does this service called Go Puff? And uh, what they do is they deliver like uh, vape stuff. Uh, they deliver like Pringles. They deliver like snacks and shit to like all hours of the morning. I think that would be a really good sponsor. They deliver like it's mainly a vape. They're not a vape place. Fucking sponsor. No, they might. They're a Philly. They're a Philly corporate company. Like, they might. We just bash God for forty. Minutes. Like, Dude, our fans are all in like faggots. Netherlands and Australia and Great Britain. I don't also, know how many fans we got in Philly. Anyways, maybe not, maybe anyways, not, maybe not. Like, we, we almost we almost have more international fans than it's national good, fans. It's a good idea. No, but Go Puff is still still though. Can I? Can I? You know what I never understood with chips? You get like these like mystery flavor chips. Like you get like you remember when Mountain Dew tried all these different flavors yeah. for about a year. You had like the blue, the white, the all these like random yeah. colors. Yeah. And it was all bullshit. Yeah. Like Mountain Dew. Garage wall. Yeah, <laughs> and you're just like wait, Fro what? Mountain Dew Frost, and you're no, like, they, they were all like grape and concrete. they were like, uh, you're fan, like wait, what? It was like fan voted flavors. Yeah, yeah. they ran but limited. It's like, why don't they have like these extravagant flavors that you know you could like show your friend? Like you're like, do you guys remember? I'm eating. Curry, curry chips. I've had curry chips. Curry, oh my amazing. god, they're good. I've had curry chips. They're huge amazing. in Ireland. Before we wrap it up, we did have some questions from fans that we wanted to answer. Just a couple before we wrap it up. Um, <laughs> Niall, could you please drum roll? Anything a good one. Yeah. Anything you guys are looking forward to this year? I'm looking no. forward to the rapture and hanging with G my boy G-Boy. My boy G-Boy. I'm excited for all the awesome stuff Sleepy Cabin is going to do. <laughs> This year, uh -huh. and a lot of shit coming up in the next couple months. Whoa! That's Wait. not the hype shit. That isn't. I, that's literally what I am very Nick fucking excited get, for. Nick that's why I'm here. Skin tattoo for in, some reason. Yeah, I tattooed myself. I am here in Philly. Shit is happening with Sleepy Cabin, and that's exciting. Niall, who asked that question? That was asked by Weeble the Wobble. Weeble the Wobble. Weeble the Wobble. Learn how to field questions. Weeble the Wobble. Weeble the Wobble. Weeble the Wobble. Also, I'm on board with Mick. I'm looking. I'm looking forward to some exciting sleepy cabin stuff. Eventually, we'll start doing cool show stuff. Yeah, green that's part screen. of. Green. Yeah, green screen. Green room. You guys Maybe. need to sing more when you do. You yeah, yeah, there's some there's some tentative stuff for the future. It's not set in stone, but regardless, there is going to be um, more filming of projects. Animation takes a lot of time, and that will still happen. But we're also trying to find other ways of you know puppet shows and. and yeah, I like how all these guys well. are calling bullshit right now because it's been so long, but they don't know that it's. They don't know it's all actually happening right now. It's all so actually, so yeah, fucking yeah. sorry, I have a full time job. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. It took you seven months to put something out. Guess yeah, what? but My now we've got some support. My full -time now there's some legitimate. Job. Support. Yeah, they don't know. It's money. working on a game. Shit. <laughs> they don't know what's actually Shit. happening. People yeah, no, it's, it's happening fuck. though. It's exactly. already in the works. You know what? The people that support us, they know what's going on. They get it. They understand. Yeah. They're yeah. in the now. Yeah. yeah. What about you? What, what do you got on the plate? What am I looking forward to? Yeah, what are you looking forward Releasing to? Releasing my first cartoon. Ever? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was reborn recently, so yeah. it's okay. kind of a big You're gonna deal start for making me. Christian cartoons? 
<laughs> with lots of sex. Yeah. Christian sex. The real the real deal. Are you gonna reboot religion? <laughs> oh fuck yeah, yeah. dude. He's gonna make it fun and sexy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Religion's too fucking old and fucking gray. Yeah. Where's the hot pink? Yeah. And the wet girl. You're here to give it a nice injection butt. of hey, hot pink. I'm down with the hot pink. Yeah. But you you're still nice to people and you you still get it on a human level. Yeah, yeah, everybody everybody does. Everybody does. Awesome. Yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. Rebooting Sounds religion, like yeah. Yeah, rebooting religion <laughs> and uh, and a good old sleepy cabin schniz coming up the pipeline. Is yeah. that shit and jizz? How about we uh, reboot religion into the trash and uh, we, we suggest that everyone's <laughs> join the sleepy be their cabin. own god. Or join the sleepy cabin. How about cabin that? Sleepy be cabin your cult. own god. Join the sleepy cabin. Be accountable cult. to yourself? I don't want... Did, what? What, Nile? What were you saying? Join the Sleepy Cabin Cult. The sleepy Cabin Cult. Oh, Just okay. do whatever the fuck you want. Say whatever the fuck you want. Don't care. Oh, okay. Don't, don't I didn't want the response. You do care. You do want to care. You Don't encourage that behavior. I don't really care, though. Because then you get people who tip cars. Yeah, we don't okay. want that. How can you tip a car? You can tip oh, a car. Oh, I've seen it before, dude. You get enough people, it's easy to tip a car. Yeah. Really? Yeah, you just throw yeah. it over. You can get two guys and tip a car. It's Depends on the car, yeah. Um, uh, excellent. And what else do we have lined up in our Q&A? Sleepy NBA. Cabin crew are in list. Hayward Cole Fuck my A. asks, Hey guys, what's something you're passionate about besides animation? For example, I love martial arts. How about you guys? Do you really though? I actually did, like, karate one time when I was like... like I, I did Taekwondo. I did Taekwondo, Taekwondo too. Taekwondo. Yeah, I was a yellow belt. Ta Dude, I was a fucking green belt. Mick, you are a second degree yellow belt. I was a second I degree. Let you I, was, I was second degree yellow belt. I was belt. a second degree. You know what they do? They just give you belt. like they give you a piece of electrical Wait, you tape. Were yellow you just wrap it around the belt. Yeah, you were Dude, yellow belt. That's exactly what happened. I had two. Or they two take pieces. a magic marker and draw shit on it. <laughs> I was a red tag, which means I was almost a red belt, which is next to black. So yeah, red electrical tape. It was a second degree electrical tape on my belt. When I signed up for for Taekwondo. Well, no, originally I had it was like an after school experience where it was just fun, but then they started putting in grades and, I, and at one point they actually just took out Taekwondo altogether. Corey, and since it was only 45 minutes long. I know your story is really good right now, but we were all in rec center martial arts. We have to stop that. He's not asking if we took martial arts. He's asking what your other passions are besides animation and stuff. I had a story to tag on with it. Okay, go ahead. Okay. It was quick. It's almost over. But he moved that's in desks and our new teacher <laughs> Wait, was no, like all quick. about fucking report cards and stuff, and since all I got was he, bad grades, I didn't want to show him, so I quit in an early grade, because I didn't want to show him my C, or I'd have to do like 50 push-ups and get kicked in the face by people who- My martial art, my, my Taekwondo instructor man, my parents called him Sir, and they didn't like that. Yeah. He made me do the same thing, yeah, or I'd have to do like faggot. 15 push-ups. I know, he was a huge faggot. He all wanted was money. Yeah, anyways. So, something else I do other than drawing is... Um, like animation, is that what he asked? Yes! Is art- uh, No, other than art. What, other, what are your hobbies <laughs> beyond- other than, art, but other than like sitting at your tablet. Look, oh, hey. I you think the answer is like, clear. I like cooking, okay? It's, it's yeah. great, I love to cook. I love to cook But I'm not doing too. what I'm doing normally. I like to play the trombone occasionally. I go for lots of walks. That's not a hobby. Yeah, dude. No. Why isn't it? Because you do that now. No, no, I like go for. Just I guess walk. you could make walking a hobby. I go for you a can't walk. segment time for walking and call it a hobby. You, you have another existence. Can you? Is other it? Is it something that. you can be good at? Is it a no. skill that you can? No, but I get lost. Yeah, can purpose. you perfect hey, your walk? Kind of fucked up. You know what? It's valid for him. He gets yeah, his no, mind I'm not, together. I'm not saying it's wrong. No. I was just trying to piece walking together. Walking is not a hobby. Sounded like you were saying walking is not a hobby. hobby. Fine, I'm a professional blinker. I, I fucking find my arts. I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about Niall. No, but I get I, I, I like walk to places I haven't walks. been. I just keep walking in directions. You know what, Niall? I'll walk with you, man. I, I understand. I don't give a shit that. that he walks. I'm saying you do other stuff, Niall, than walking. Don't lie. Other hobbies? Um, I don't know. Just exploring places. You been saying you have an amazing voice. Yeah, it's not really a hobby though. Singing is a hobby. Well, I guess. Okay, let me go through that. Hey, I Niall, sing occasionally Niall, too. Harmonize with me. Ah. That was actually quite beautiful. All right, uh, I no one knows this, tell, but I I actually wrote a lot of poetry, like a lot of poetry. In fact, I created. I bet uh, you like to walk too, faggot. <laughs> <laughs> faggot. You're a dick. The poetry. Oh, well, I write yeah, a lot. No, that was no, it. Go on. I write no, a that lot was it. I I got into poetry while I was in. I mean, I'd always kind of been into poetry, like in New York. And then my taste kind of changed. I went from like Kerouac to uh, 
to um, Rembo and then finally to Lorca. And <clears throat> that's where I ended up with Lorca because I that was kind of like yeah. I write. I actually write a lot of like I try to write comedy. I, I used to write music and sing. And I, actually of, uh, I actually have one of I actually have one of mixed uh, poems yeah. here now. Let really? me read it. Yeah, here we go. The night is dark. <clears throat> I'm horny. Oh no. <laughs> It's a the haiku. It's dark. not a fucking poem. Listen, pump. listen. I was. <laughs> I did. Blow. Listen. That's, that's it was, great, man. That, it no, was no, an seriously. Experimental I, I, phase in my poetry. You didn't believe in your creative vision. You didn't finish it. Okay. <laughs> the night is dark. Oh no. The night is dark. Please blow. The night is dark. <laughs> no. Let's go. You sound like a psycho. The night is dark. So I'm the schizo. point of it was to rhyme. <laughs> then my boy came You're in. You're such a oh, charlatan. Yo. Listen. What a new All right, realistically, rhyming though, poems. Realistically, Come on, though, dude. I used to like get write, with the times. Music. Shit. You don't rhyme like, poems. You play. say things. Randomly. Yeah, like rhyming make it nursery happen. rhyme. This is from Mother Goose. When I'm alone at the office, I sing up a storm. I'll pop a cap as loud as I can to get my vocals going. Yeah, because I'm self-conscious about how I sing. Black couch. I saw I a black sing mouse all the time. on the ground, walking around, I sing looking when for I rhyme. <laughs> ground beef. <laughs> Drink lemon and Look lime. For beef grounds. <laughs> Fucking throw cordy. I love how you throw your whole body into it. Like you're beef. Like, Big ground. Big ground. <laughs> what is it? The fucking the the cafe house fucking screaming. What is it? What the fuck is that shit? Nile. Somebody challenged me to that recently. But it was, was like it, what it's was like it cafe say? house fucking rap offs. What are they? That that fucking bullshit. Oh, slam poetry. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. Yeah, slam yeah, poetry. Yeah, yeah. Nonsense poetry. Yeah. I feel chains. Nonsense. I got poetry. brains. You don't Nonsense. know it's me. The people. Snap. I am. Yeah. The second your foe. It seems. <laughs> you don't know it's me. It hurts when I pee. <laughs> I'm confused <laughs> about what I'm saying. <laughs> Time to get some coffee. I'm done. Peace. Well, drop the mic. Do you think about life. You drop the mic. You drop the mic. Think about yeah. life. No, I most of those slam po poetry is always going to end with like half of a sentence. It's like, you come around into my face, you better get ready to. Oh yeah, and then they walk away. <laughs> Most of them are just like taste. <laughs> no, no, it's they don't. It, it they don't you wonder. That's yeah, where the snapping like, comes from. Oh yeah, then no. they're like, and you're gonna come around again, and then, <laughs> and then you walk, away. <laughs> and they walk away, and everyone, and then like ten seconds later, they're like, <laughs> <laughs> and then ten sec second. I would never fuck the green M and M. We're not. No. Yes, you would, cause her pussy's under her. Scan. Scan. Nile. Higher life. Last question. What do we got? Higher. What do we got? Last Wait, question. Last oh, question. Oh, it looks like Stamper's racing you. Stamper through. got it. No, you know what? Let's answer a couple of questions rapid fire. Okay, and go for without it. being stupid. Go okay. right. Nile, I, my shit is fucking up. Get a question. Hurry. Hurry. <laughs> You've all been tasked with leading an expedition into space to find a new planet for humans to colonize. There the is a space man, on the ship for all of you. Yeah, fuck that. The Sleeping <laughs> Abel Quo, uh, I like dick. True or false? You know false? what? Go back and answer the first one. <laughs> there now is, I feel guilty. There is a space on the ship for all of you and an additional five people to make up the crew. Assuming there are robots to build the infrastructure on the new civilization, and there are settlers and cryogenic pods to populate the world, yeah. who are the five people you bring with you for the trip? This is like a fucking quiz they, they ask you on a fucking algebra test. Are you kidding me? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Yo, wait, so is it, it's, it's all of us, and then we add five more people? I, I, get, I get it, it's cute. You pick, but, five, you know, you pick the five people fucking, to bring with you on a space. He could have summarized that way faster. Yeah. Oh, I don't Alex know. Alex Houston. Split, uh, split it down. What was the, the summary? Give me the summary. Right, five. Give you're me the cliff notes. Man, you're getting fucking, you're getting blasted into space, right? And you need five yeah. dudes to come with you or else you're fucked. Oh, guess what? The Sleepy Cabin crew. Next question. Oh, God, you're dead in the day. <laughs> uh, I, you know, listen, I would say if we, if no, it, if we were already the on there and we had five pods for additional people, they'd all be girls. Cause yeah, we, we need to repopulate the, the not the Earth, but the other... Oh, no, but they said that they would actually be able to repopulate without girls. But Let me tell you they'd some. still be girls just because... Why not? I need some pods. Can we bring the green M and M? Does that count or no? <laughs> I don't think she's fertile. I don't think she can. Oh, you dude. know what we bring? We bring the know. green M and M. We bring Smurfette, Bugs Gadget, Bunny. Bugs Bunny, and fucking. Fuck you! Ask, <laughs> ask the next question. What does it smell like in the sleepy cabin offices? Uh, trash. It smells like. It smells. It smells like. Uh, like yeah, a mix between stale beer, um, trash, smoke, uh, bo, <laughs> trash, uh, toilets, uh, coffee grounds. 
and dreams that are on the verge of budding. <laughs> trash. Or, or and trash. Or, or, or falling apart. You know, truthfully, it smells like concrete and coffee. Yeah, yeah, you know, it actually, it doesn't smell it anything doesn't like garbage stink. in here, to be honest. It smells like chalk. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, that's the concrete though. That's it's like, like chalk and cinnamon. What is that cinnamon? Oh, that's a uh, stamper. Got these things up down here. Yeah, I got oh, yeah, the little. There incense. you go. It smells sticks. like fucking. Or no, chalk, those are the cement. oil sticks. Those aren't incense. Those are like the oil rods. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, nope. Mobile down. Spider says, does Corey have any stories about his? Bag? Yo, fuck Mobile Spider. He got he got what's coming to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's got a, a poster story. coming to him. A story. <laughs> okay, so. It, this is like the only time, and Wait, I might have brought it up because I'm never going to talk about Does it. Does Corey have any stories about his band? It's something I'm kind of like embarrassed about because it was like very mediocre yeah. band playing. Where we just covered sucked. like, <laughs> fuck, it did. We just covers covered, and yeah, we just did covers of like punk and, but it's like, I had all these visions. I had wrote all the songs and I've always wanted to be a ska band, but I kind of gave up on that dream just because like I wasn't able to really reach it. And my friends gone off and done like islandy, like rock music. Stuff mm -hmm. that you smoke weed to, and I, I just, I still like writing music occasionally, but I, I don't do it as much as I used to. So in general, though, there's really nothing about my band. It's pretty much gone. I would like to do another band, but did you guys ever release any songs? I think we might have, like a demo or. How yeah. does everyone oh. come up with their online personas, such as why does Mick call himself Rice Pirate? Okay. Can you ask that again? And like, it's a question. All right. Zombie so fly. what's next? What's Zombie next? Fly Corey says. Or Niles. Corey. Zombie Fly says, how does everyone come up with their online names and personas, such as why does Mick call himself Rice Pirate? I'll start. Oh. Uh, I'm Stamper. Stamper TV. My last name is honestly Stamper. <laughs> yeah. See, you had it easy. The I end. think. I, yeah. I think either you go with your name, like Chris does Oni for O'Neill, and then uh, Stamp Stamper. <laughs> again. Chris does Oni for O'Neal. Yeah. Let it sink in. <laughs> People still don't get it. Oh. People still walk up to him and call him Wani and shit. <laughs> His last name is O'Neal. <laughs> surprise, oh surprise. Yeah. It's Oni. Oni. Yeah. It's very simple. And then Nile is Nile, but I guess like with you, with like Cryburger or whatever, I it's like I, this, you I, know, I, it's just you're a kid. And he's Nile. I was a kid. He's Nile the Defiley. Yeah, that's what that's what I'd rather be called. Uh, I, I'd rather be called Nile the Defiley. Or, or just Nile. Yeah, I don't like. Which is you. very similar to Zach. He made his name Psychic Pebbles right. when he was a kid. Yeah. And he just strung two words together. And yeah. Exact same. I, it just stuck I, with him. I actually, because I had an, uh, an older name, but it was from a game I played, Puzzle pirates and I played it for years and it was King Priam it, it was based because I was reading the Iliad and some other fucking shit but anyways um, but I got into pirates but then when I kind of stopped playing puzzle pirates and I moved to Newgrounds when I set up my account I don't I didn't want to use that name and the two things I mean I'm Chinese and my first name in Chinese is me and me means rice mm. so it was just rice and then I liked Pirates, so I just did rice. Pirate. I thought it was because you were half Irish too, and you're like, yeah. You you're not the pirate. Chinese, dude. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. How do you say nail polish in Chinese? I don't know. Ching <laughs> sao. I don't know how to say nail polish. <laughs> Corey, I didn't know you knew how to speak Chinese. <laughs> I do, dude. dude. He is, dude. Anyways, yeah. So that's where it came. Uh, that was it. <laughs> Nothing special. Just one thing I like. Two. One, my part of my name and one thing I like. Yeah, For mine. me. It was kind of like I had a character whose name, this is really stupid, his name was Spaz Spazzy. Yeah. Believe it or not, I was also really young, so don't make fun of me. And so I drew him as a kid, Spaz kid. <laughs> I'm going there. Yeah. And I think we're on the same page with our audience. Spaz, I don't think I, anyone can exactly. make fun of us for anything. And I was, a, a, yeah, and I was zombie a kid fly. at the time. I was like 15, so I was like, I like how this name Spaz kid sounds. It has like kind of like a cool, like, yeah. Spaz Kid. So I was like, Spaz Kid. I like that. Where'd the in 3D come from? That, oh, it, the in 3D came from this. being suspended a bunch of times because I had Spaz yeah. Kid 12, then I had Spaz Kid 28, then I had Spaz Kid XD, <laughs> then I had Lay like, Spaz Kid. The Spaz Kid in, it just in, gets gayer from there. Spaz Kid <laughs> on VHS, Spaz Kid yeah. on Blu ray. I, I had yeah. Spaz Kid on DVD and Blu ray, but that got suspended within the first <laughs> week. So I was just like, okay, fuck it, Spaz Kid in 3D, and nothing yeah. happened. Like, it stayed the what same. What was the relevance of 28, Corey? 28? You, it, that was just Google cool. algorithm said like, do you want to do you want to be? It, it was, was default. It's exactly what it was. Yeah. I went to Spaz and I'm like, I can't think of a fucking number. It was just like 28. I'm like 28. <laughs> and then I did an XD because just so you could like troll even there harder. Was, you just like, oh god. I remember there was actually now. like a username generator and basically it took like an adjective and a noun and just smashed them together. So like. 
Ego Raptor or Psychic Pebbles. Psychic Pebbles. Yeah, it was or called Spaz Xbox Kid 360 or... Lawnmower Gerbil. It was yeah. nonsense. Yeah, you just like My take Newgrounds two words. name was Chainsaw Dentist. Yeah, there you go. Which That's I not thought, so bad. Which was which I thought was actually good, but it was too fucking long. Yeah, that is long. Yeah, and long. it doesn't really stick with Spaz Kid, so Yeah. Yeah, Spaz but if I met you, I could just call you Chain. Hey, what's up, Chain? Chainsaw that would be Dentist. Cool. It works well. <laughs> but you can call me Spaz. Yeah. Spaz I like better too. It's applicable to you. Yeah, am I a Spaz? Yeah. Do I freak out? A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. I call you Otsbone. Because <laughs> you're really good at the trombone and you're kind of autistic. <laughs> Do you like Otsbone? Can you laugh without smiling? <laughs> 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 That was disturbing, man. <laughs> <laughs> I looked sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, thanks for joining us. For this, <laughs> this has been thanks sleeping, for joining guys. us. That was really upsetting. <laughs>